It was a pain, man, because the HP dropping so quick. I'm like, ah! I'm gonna change the thing to... They like to do their humongous big pulls. And I'm like, please don't do a big pull, please. A big <laughs> pull, oh. And then we do... There's quite a few people that would agree that Dark Knight is... Is what? Dark Knight. I know, but I think you cut out for me. Dark Knight is a pain. Oh. I'm trying to get... It's a lot of people that would agree. <laughs> Redler. Yeah. Liam Neeson. Yeah. Joseph Gordon Levitt. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh. My heart sank. I, I forgot. Did you think you did it bad? Okay, yeah, it, it, I thought I did, but uh, listen, hear me out. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it said chapter start, and I panicked, okay? Also, oh, yeah, because he's streaming. Alright, let me refresh. 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 Oh, now it is. Uh, Miles Edgeworth on a plane, that is correct. Upload thumbnail that I got from Google. Gaming. Gamers, rise up. Hello everybody in the in, in the universe. We're doing more Miles Edgeworth and I actually slept, so this is gonna be a good time. But Scott, sure. you have to get back into character, so uh, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to chloroform you for like a couple hours. No, 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 no. no. What? Are we gonna have another clip for Sky to upload? <laughs> oh my god! What's happening? I can't wait for oh, the side rice farm. We, we gotta we have to get her into character. Oh. Oh, Sky. Yeah. Did you hear that? Apparently, there's a rumor of a baiting Kaidos remaking the works. Oh God! Please help. <laughs> Return. Card game, Sky? No. No, no, no. And you know, the speed, the 100% speed run, it takes like, I don't know, like fucking mm -hmm. days. <laughs> 100 and something hours or some shit. Yeah, because like, it, it, the, the, the way hours. the card system works. <laughs> hey. I don't, I wish to suffer no longer. Alright, so, uh, let me see if I remember. Uh... Uh, there was turbulence on the airplane. Yeah, yeah, there's a And that head. caused a ruckus for evidence that we, we Uncle investigated. Ruckus? That PRB. our initial witness is once again very unreliable, as is the case with Phoenix Wright Games. Ooh, nice. Dude did not set his time to the uh, departure time zone, but the destination time zone, and he got his entire account kerfuffled. But it did help in the sense that we have widened the window of time of death by extension therefore that opens a lot more suspects and miles has basically been put off the hook but he hasn't because they basically said he could have been down there doing it at that time too so but, yeah, but now the we've landed pilot gave him a little time to investigate and then they finally landed it's like all right all right that's enough you need to let the police handle this now that's enough yes. <laughs> hey hey hunter yeah you want to see something some, apparently a mod's working for for a banjo Oh, I'll put it in a stream chat here for you. Just oh. by the image, you can probably guess. Nor, his name is Salmonella. Don't start off the stream bringing attention to Salmonella! What do you mean? He's right there. You can't unsee him. <laughs> there you go, Hunter. Not quite sure, but okay. How do you feel about Banjo Kazooie Party? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently um, someone's working on a mod for it. I know that once we had landed. <laughs> That's a no vicious. <laughs> I'm not important anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm supposed to let the local police take over. And thanks to Miss Tenero and Miss Meal, I was able to preserve the crime scene. I just can't shake it. I wasn't able to talk with Miss Tenero in private. So I'm left wondering just what was she up to? Why did she do what she did? There must be a way for me to continue my investigation. Um... I, I 
think I know who this Listen is. Listen to the music. It's not who I think it is, is it? I've been invest expecting you, Miles Edgeworth. <gasps> okay, yeah. Francisca! Francisca? Oh my god! It's the I best girl! I thought she was still in German Germany. I go where I'm needed. And wherever there are criminals to be caught. Her name is Franziska von Karma. My kinda sister. The daughter of my mentor, Manfred von Karma. She, like myself, is a prosecutor. Side note, her dad killed my dad. <laughs> That's irrelevant. Are you heading up this case? It would be a bit of a relief if you are. Don't you try to flatter me, Mars Edwards. I'm placing you under arrest. Oh. Whoa. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, Ooh, you what? Got what? It's quite frustrating, actually. I had hoped to accept. Oh my god. The blah, blah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. I had hoped to exact my revenge on you in a different venue. But I'll have to take what I can get. I never thought I'd see the day when a disciple of the House of Arm Karma would become a criminal. Have you no shame? Uh, about that? Wait, 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 this has all been big misunderstanding. Wait, hold on. I didn't you're her, kill the you're victim. You're his daughter. Don't worry what? about it. She has a blind spot in that area. Don't worry about it. Woman. What? Huh? She, she said that I can't believe the day that there's going to be a criminal in the name of Von Karma and her dad is in fucking jail. So it's... Or, you know, incarcerated completely. A misunderstanding. Uh, I heard all about the murder over the police radio from the captain himself. You waited for the victim on the first floor and then beat him to death. Francisco, do you honestly believe that I killed a man? I mean, there was that one time on the lake. That was your dad! I suppose I should reserve judgment until after I have investigated this for myself. I can put you I, I can put your arrest on hold until then. Wait, that's yeah. as it should be. Ha! I don't need a lecture on how to perform my duties from you of all people. To be perfect in every way. The fulfillment of that creed alone is all I strive for. Well, I have my own creed which I must fulfill, so why don't we solve this together? I have to get going. As a crime scene awaits. Don't you dare leave town. Trust me, I had no intention to. Detect- I got you! Oh. Yes, sir! Too slow. No, dick. Listen up, I'm leaving you in charge of, wa of, of watching this man. Don't mess up, understand? <laughs> Mr. Edgewood? I'm supposed to guard him? Masana, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Oh, Misana's one of my VTuber friends. Hi, thanks for giving my friend a follow, Misana. A simple yes or no, detective. Yeah, yes, sir! Not the stud, sir! You just leave it to me! Miles Edgeworth, if you interfere with my investigation, I'll arrest you on the spot. Are we clear? Now then, if you'll excuse me. Uh, good to see you again, Mr. Edgeworth, sir! Boy, am I glad to see you're okay! Thank you, Detective. I believe in you, sir! You can lean on me! I'll get you through this! I have to admit, I'm a bit curious as to what Francisca's up to. Maybe I should ask the good detective. Very well. In that case, I have a few questions for you. Alright, shoot! Hey! So, how is the initial investigation going? We just shipped the body off to the coroner's office. And we're taking statements now, sir! That sounds like Francisca. She was always good at quick responses to a case. I'd say she was, uh, a little too quick, sir. Oh? How so? The uh, um... I rushed on over as soon as I got word of the affair, sir. But somehow, when I got here, Miss Von Comet was already here fucking out orders at everyone. It was kind of creepy, though she knew where she had been 
had been a murder or something, and had come in advance to wait your flight's arrival! That is sort of odd. She did show up rather quickly, and out of the blue. Plus, I still don't know why she's here in America. There must be some backstory to all of this. America, fuck yeah! America. No, we're in Japanifornia. Ms. Von Kama just kind of popped up at the prosecutor's office about a week ago, sir. Something about chasing down leads related to a certain incident. No details? It's kind of top secret, so she can't talk about it. Even with me, sir. Knowing her, the only type of talking she likes to do is with her whip. <laughs> Plus, I doubt the top secret part was what stopped her from talking to you, Detective. Although, I wonder if her case has anything to do with mine. Anyway, uh, that's about it, all the info I have, sir. We should find out more as we investigate. Yes, it is high time to resume my investigation. Starting with talking to the people involved in this case afresh. You want to talk to Sal? <laughs> Looking from behind, I think I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh no. <laughs> Shove your rush! What flight lunchbox eat you? <laughs> Why is he emoting in his text box? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, we gotta get him some water! Do we? Found it, lol! Oh, I feel a wave of creative powers coming on. It's over 9,000 lols. I hate, I hate, I hate. For my next lead movie, it's going to be the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Nero Tokyo. Versus the World Samurai, Champion of Earth. It's going to rock store so many box stores. Oh my god. Phew, good thing it was a false alarm, right, Mr. Edgeworth? So the Steel Samurai is finally getting a movie. <laughs> Priorities. What a fanboy. What a fanboy. Wait. Oh, is he? Yes, he's a closeted yes. fanboy. Oh, he is a closeted Steel Samurai fanboy. I thought Steel Samurai had a movie. No. No, yeah, it's oh. a show. Not a movie. Yeah, I still why is it matters. just the four of you? By the way, Scott, why is it just the four of you guys, and then the space, and then me, Phantom, and Riddler? Uh, no? yeah. Because people. <laughs> so you must be the captain. Oh God, it's the actor. Oh, what? Why? Yes, I am. And who might you be? I am the prodigy prosecutor, Francisco von Kormer, and I have a few questions for you. Oh God. Uh, don't you. you dare, Captain. Getting friendly with another woman? Yo? Are you Yo? dating? Uh... I'll never forgive you if you do. <laughs> no talk what, what, what are you talking about? I only have you, eyes for you, my dear Cammy. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going out. Side note, I'm blind. I wouldn't <laughs> put money on our dear Captain to be much of a reputable person. Sure you don't want to ask the captain some questions, sir? Baby, you gotta understand, it's not cheating if we're in the air. That's why it's called the Mile High Club. That's not... He was in the cockpit the entire time. I highly doubt he would know anything of use. Anyway, I'd like to leave that type of witness to fence a scanner whip. Wait, for what? <laughs> hey, wait, hey, wait, back up, back, wait. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I guessed it before it happened. Uh, it just shrugs. <laughs> it is what it is. I love, oh I love, I oh, love. Oh wait, that hold on. Let me get my phone out. I, I, I see him. Oh. He's getting angry over there. Oh, he's getting angry. Edwards he's staring turning. at the screen. Yeah, this is happening. All right, hold on. Yeah. Now see him. Is that him talking? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, so sorry! I'm sorry! What? How long do you intend to hold me? 
It is impossible for me to be a criminal. I told you! Mr. LeBlanc. Who's you? There has been a stop beast. Says to stop stopping me from going. Time is money. I don't have enough. I don't even have one second of the wasteful time to spend. All right. Did you finish taking this statement yet? Yep, all done, sir. He's buying his invisible AK. <laughs> I do not care, sir, if you're not the one to examine the cargo hold. I want my cargo back! Huh? If you make a single scratch of my art, you will obey! Art? What sort of art? Like a simple thing like you would understand. Mr. LeBlanc is an art dealer, so he's got a bunch of artwork down at the cargo hold, sir. He's practically a mountain of them, large and small. <laughs> From folk, from folk costumes to stone statues, I sell all kinds of arts and illegal weaponry. Folk oh, costumes? Speaking of which, Mr. LeBlanc's hat. It kind of looks like that other piece of cloth. Oh, oh that's right. I might be the killer again. God damn it. Uh huh. Oh no. I was like, oh, we don't know I'm yeah. the killer yet. Wait. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe it's the captain who's also me. No, I don't think No. Did. But I think I'll take to Yup, that's blood. For there to be this much blood on this piece of cloth. Was the victim wrapped in it at some point? Hmm. There's something very familiar about this fabric pattern. I just didn't know if we looked at it. I don't remember anything, so. Uh, hey, um, what oh, are we gonna we do? Can, oh, we can present it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Day says we're gonna put the killer to zero. Well, I mean, I mean, we don't like know yet. We don't Mr. Like Blanc, know now. can you please take a look at this for me? Hmm? Oh, it's a Brazilian cloth! As I suspected, your hat is made of the same material, I suppose. Yes, of course! This fabric is some of my famous orders come from over the seas for more. In fact, I'm the only one on the plane that would have access to this type of cloth. Uh oh. Then this is the cargo you were talking about earlier. So, that would mean they probably died in the cargo hold, right? Uh-oh. That would make sense. He didn't die on the elevator? Oh, no, no, no. My cargo stamp has much more, much more very gigantic. You detective, we're gonna have my cargo moved. Yeah, you can get your cargo back when we're done investigating, pal! The stubbornness of you, police. It is no good. It is no good that I'm the head of the to exit the attendance room, too. That attendant? I wonder if he's talking about Miss Tenero. What did you mean by that attendant, Mr. LeBlanc? She was taken into the. She was. She was taken into the test room for an interview. Oh, wait a minute. And it said that come out. That makes no sign of coming out. The oh, he did. I was here with my own interview much earlier, quicker than her. Why is Mr. Nero's interview the only one that's taken up so much time? We're actually on the plane. Oh, hey, Frank. This is a fancy a ass plane. Mars Edgeworth, you were given free reign to examine the plane, weren't you? Yes, I was able to obtain the cooperation of the flight attendants. Speaking of attendants, I'd like to speak with Miss Tenero. I wonder if you might grant me permission to enter the flight attendants' room? Huh. Before I do, you still have to clear up a few issues surrounding your own circumstances. I understand. You may have tricked those attendants with your sophisticated talk. But you can't pull the wool over my eyes, Mouse Edgeworth. So we're about to fight her against stuff that she wasn't even here for. Okay. What? You weren't here, though! How- you don't- oh, Fra Francesca, Francesca, you just- you just got here, like, ten minutes ago! No, she wants to take the shot at- at- at Miles. It's okay. Let's not complicate things and go with the most obvious conclusion. Do you even know who the name of the victim is? 
And the Gee, scene yes, of the does. crime was here. In the very l in, in the very lounge the body was discovered. From the time the victim was seen calling for an attendant until the body was found. The, the only person in this lounge the entire time was you, Miles Edgeworth. This unmistakably makes you the likeliest suspect. Hmm. The likeliest suspect, Francisca? Do you have a problem with that? No, yes. but it's not like you to use such vague wording. You're usually a bit more... absolute. Fear me. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Not allowed. I'm simply trying to watch out for you. Or is my kindness too hard for you to comprehend? Thank you, but your leniency is unnecessary. For I will prove my innocence soon enough! If I want to continue my investigation, I'll have to break her line of logic. Fast. No. Plate noises. Ah. Woo! Plate noises. Alright. Alright, every stance we have is technically still I like under under the categorization of conjecture. So. I like how Francesca comes out of fucking nowhere, immediately goes on the plane and goes, yeah, you did it, and then just tries to leave. Well, she hasn't heard our, our, our conjecture that we've uh, given everybody else yet. No. Don't you think you're being a bit rash by simply declaring me the culprit? Huh. I like my affairs to be simple and perfect. I'll show you the meaning of both when I finish this whole thing within three minutes. You just, you just got here. Hey, you say that like you're cooking a pack of instant noodles. I won't allow even three seconds of useless testimony to be uttered in my presence. This is in a courtroom. I see she hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> but I won't allow her to send me to prison so easily. Does she even have the power to do that? Are you winning, son? Maybe. No. I mean, by extension of the arrest. So tell me, Francisca, do you know all there is to know about the crime scene? I know all that I need to know in order to arrest you. Huh? And nothing more? Are you saying there's more I need to know? A lot more. Yeah, why did you whip me, sir? Welcome back to getting whipped, Phantom. Ah. Sorry, Scruffy. My hands must have slipped. <laughs> It would appear that Francisca doesn't have all the facts of this case yet. Yes, because you got here five minutes ago! No shit, she doesn't have all the case facts. Hey, Francisco, who died? I mean, she knows that much. Does Judge she? Now joining in, this would be a good time to be rebriefed as to what happens. Because Miles is about to say so. You know, that makes sense. What do you mean by scene? Please stop pretending like you don't know. It's insulting. I don't know. Obviously, I'm talking about how Mr. Hicks was seen calling for an attendant at 5 a.m. And then from the time after that call until the body was found. Oh, yeah, I forgot the person that died was American Idol superstar Taylor Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> While it's true that I was in the lounge the whole time, that fact alone does not make me the criminal. Imagine she tries to whip an ex and we open the hatch. Oh my, well, I mean, it's, 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 it's landed, it's, so. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. landed in part. We'll see about that at the conclusion of this investigation. Nice work, my kid. Let's do it again sometime. Great. Right, Worth. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Yes. However, there, there is one thing that even you must admit at this time. Is there? That's stupid. Under the circumstances, I suppose that I can agree that I am the most likely suspect. Gotcha. But, but I believe in you, sir. I don't think you did it. Miss Von Kama's got to believe that too, right? I mean, you two are siblings. No! <laughs> Quiet, Scruffy. Even if we were related by blood, there's no guarantees that he does a criminal. What, it's not like you got a murder in your family? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. 
Francisca? I demand to see some proof that you are not the guilty party. A likely suspect, huh? Hm. You have my thanks. I am in your debt. Oh my god, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Hey! Woo! Woo! But it would appear that she doesn't know yet. BRB. About the new evidence that we acquired and where we acquired it. I'll take care of the gaps in her logic one hole at a time. Okay, so we it is. Found. Hold on. Where did? Oh. Was this? Was this in the suitcase? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember much. This. <laughs> Body was found. Da, da, da. I have a complete stupor the last time you played. This unmistakably makes you the likely suspect. Okay. It's either the footprints or the cloth. You know, boys, it's fair because Edgeworth's design is based on a Dojin character, so how about that? I'll try to claw first. Objection! They have big hands. Nope. Okay. It would seem that your logic is not as perfect as you think it is. And what is that supposed to mean? This piece of evidence should show you exactly what I mean. Oh, yes. It's, it clearly shows that you're... Oh, what you're seeking. That you're attempting to buy yourself time. Yeah! Oh. I knew I shouldn't have tried to pull a fast one. Okay. Then I would suspect... Maybe the feet prints? It's a shame Phoenix wasn't here. He could have had Miles in the Miles High Club. Oh, no, wait. It, it, so... Hmm. Trying to think if it's the feet prints on the previous statement, because, like, the only person in the well, time of this lounge was... No. It was not! Oh. Probably that cloth. Either the cloth or this. Or the oh yeah, wait, hold on. Didn't the cloth description get updated? Oh no, wait, it's probably the. Export of Virginia's beautiful patterns it's... Of soil by blood. It's probably the suitcase because it actually says body in the. Uh... Yeah. Objection! Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, there, there the music got cut. So there you go. It would appear that you did not have all the information you needed after all. And what does that mean? I found a nice piece of evidence just before I was forced to stop investigating. A piece that proves that the body was moved from a different location. I don't know either. It's been a hot minute. I haven't played this in like years. The killer used this suitcase it. to move the victim's body. Oh, well, glad you could join. Meaning that the real scene of the crime is not this lounge at all. Objection! Now who's the one rashly jumping to conclusions? Excuse me? All you did was find this piece of cloth inside the suitcase. That doesn't prove that the body was moved. It could be that the killer simply shows that suitcase is a good place to hide the cloth. I expected you would come to that conclusion. It would seem I can't escape that easily. You should know better than that. Von Karma is perfect in every way. Wait a minute. Did we... Except when they're not. I... I... Uh, it, I, I don't remember anything, so I want to check. Yeah. Blood on this? Yeah? It's blood or the grape juice. Yeah, it's grape juice. Grape juice. Which correlates to... Uh, the, the footprints, right? Yeah, the footprints, which also have wheel tracks. Ah, but did you know that the killer definitely wheeled the suitcase around at some point? Objection! As if there is a... As if there is proof of that. Where is the proof that the suitcase was moved around? This here, right? in front of the elevator. Yes, and I'd like to draw your attention to this area here. Yep. 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 
Where is the evidence that proves the killer dragged the suitcase through here? Yes. Looks like there's like wheel uh, lines. Yeah. Yeah. This mark here. When did you say that it looks suspiciously like the tracks from two wheels? I suppose. Further, there was also grape juice residue on the wheels of the suitcase. Dude, this song's a bop. This means that the suitcase containing the victim's body definitely passed through here. I suppose this means that's a killer. It did move the victim's body from somewhere else. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Objection! Not so fast. This still doesn't put you in the, in the clear. Not by a long shot. Okay. Round two, fight. Round two. Logic fight. You prepared yourself and acquired the piggy bank before the plane hit that turbulence. And then you waited for the victim on the, on, in the lounge, where you beat him to death. Then while you beat him to fucking Christ. Then while you were in the elevator with the victim's body stuffed into the suitcase, the plane hit that patch of turbulence and out flew the body from within the suitcase. With no way out, you hastily put the suitcase back where you had hidden it from, taken it from, and pretended to be the discoverer of the body. Yeah. I don't know why. Not she's a. To get a not a bad bit of logic for something you thought of on the fly. Just what are you insinuating? Oh, that I will show you exactly how flawed your logic is. No matter how strong of a face you put on, not even you can hide your fears from me. I'll expose the flaws in a logic w in one fell swoop. Motherfucking mind fight! Mind fight! Let's find out the cause of death. Why you were in the elevator with the victim's body stuffed in the suitcase? Why did that patch of turbulence go through the body from within the suitcase? And how do you suppose I was able to take the pinky bank out of its display case? Oh, was that updated? Uh, yeah, yeah that, it, that's all the mentioned right. stuff. Wasn't the hat in the in the in the thing the broken? Yeah. Show? Okay. I feel like yeah. I feel like that something about that is going to be mentioned, and that's the. We are beginner. The murder had to have taken place after the turbulence, because the murder weapon is a result of the turbulence. After the turbulence. Wait a minute. After the turbulence. As of a call, the case was locked. Is that easy? If the case was locked, you simply had to hit the glass like this. Now! You shut up my heart of glass! Oh my god, come she please! So she wants to talk about the in-flight shop and the Mr. Ifly bank, does she? Because that takes care of how you obtain the murder weapon. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so she's claiming before the plane hit the turbulence. Like and her her, her her reasoning is that she, we could have just broken the glass with a with a punch. And you know, well, in all this, did anyone ever bring up a motive as to why Edward could just kill some random guy? Uh, Tenero initially thought it was because she just wanted to rob him, but it didn't make sense because all his money was on the floor. Yeah. So we have no idea. Cool. And why would I feel like the more? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. There was no glass on the inside. Granted, this isn't the case closed, open and shut situation. Like, in the investigation period for the initial arrest, I don't think the motive is ever brought up. They just attribute a uh, time, place, uh, circumstance. Uh, Admittedly, you don't motive always gets brought have up to in, like, have a motive to be arrested for murder as long as you have the means to have committed it and no one else did. 
Okay. Yeah, there, there's still a, gonna yeah, question. motive might not even be a factor. You could have okay. just done it on okay. a roll. Orlando, you could be a fucking serial killer. You just kill people for yeah. no reason. Anyway, it's the... Uh, yes, because uh, we found the glass outside of the uh, case, not inside. So her argument is completely invalid. Objection! The fact that you took this piece of evidence into account in your testimony is to be commended... Your legal prowess is certainly something to be feared. Evidence on logic. Essential tools that those who would stand in a courtroom must learn to master. But what if there was a fake piece of evidence thrown into the mix? Uh oh. Fake. A fake. This Mr. Ifly Piggy Bank is just such a fake. It is not the real murder weapon. Vast? The timing of when the bank was taken from the shop is important. And it was taken after the turbulence had occurred. But then, what about the blood on the bank? What do you make of that? I assume it was added after the murder when the killer fabricated this weapon. Looking at it this way, the killer basically did three things after the turbulence. It, uh, they did a lot. They did do a lot. After exiting the elevator, The killer brought the suitcase to the shop and left it there. Then the killer proceeded to pick the piggy bank up from off the floor and took it to fabricate a fake murder weapon by hitting the victim on the head. Finally, the victim's wallet was planted on my personage, in my pocket to be precise. Everything was done so that I would be framed for the murder of Mr. Ackby Hicks. Hey, you, there. you there! Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma okay. Other than this piggy bank, was anything else resembling a murder weapon found? Uh, we didn't find anything in this lounge or in the shop that could be used as one, ma'am. Most of the items that could be happened to use were broken during the turbulence. And the remaining items all tested negative for any trace of blood. I see. Well, Mars Edgeworth, it appears your stall tactics are at an end. But it's possible that it's just hidden somewhere, sir. It's gotta be in the uh, cargo bay. Yeah! If the criminal had wanted to hide the weapon in a safer place, I think the weapon would have been hidden in the same place as the bloody cloth. Exactly what I was thinking. Because the cloth was hidden inside that suitcase, it signals to me that the killer had not prepared a more secure place to hide the evidence. Which means that the real murder weapon is either still on the murderer's personage, or is still at the real crime scene. Objection! There's one more possibility. And that would be... Is that the piggy bank is in fact the real weapon. But did we just... Let me finish. The killer took the bank out of the display case before the turbulence. But... By opening the lock on the display case door. Not possible. And it was at that time that the glass pane in the door was broken. I'd say that's a perfectly reasonable line of reasoning, wouldn't you? Let's see. So that means that the killer had the key to the display case. Oh. Francisca. The person you're talking about. Oh. Miss Tanero, that's why she's been in there for. Uh oh. Not so fast. Not finished. The person I'm talking about also committed another sin. She tricked the captain and granted you permission to conduct your investigation. Yes, it is the sin of lying. Oh. Yup, it's Tanero. Oh no. That person is Phoenix Wright! Phoenix Wright! <laughs> He's like, and it's like, this off screen like, what? Speaking of which, I recall that you also wish to speak with her. Hmm. Yes. Very well. Permission granted. But only if I can sit in on your interrogation. Do we understand each other? I have no intention of interrogating her. But you are welcome to accompany me if you so wish. Mr. 
Monero is the flight attendant's room. That's cool. I'm guessing he just wants to go into the flight attendant's room. In other words, Francisca kind of had an idea that it wasn't Edgeworth, but she just wanted to grill him. Oh my <laughs> god, look at those bunk beds. He had another suspect. Miss Only is two. the poster girl. Oh! Hey! Yeah! A, look at that suitcase. There's Someone's got some hmm. air tanks on it. That looks familiar. So you're the one that poked around inside the plane without the captain's permission. Deviating from the flight attendant's manual is very unbecoming, you know. What were you hoping to accomplish by doing that? I... I... Mr. Tenero. Ah, oh, Mr. Edgeworth, you're here too. Can you please help us and shed some light on why you did what you did? All right. This Sad music. Thing. Sad thing. Sad music. Oh, look oh, at her. She's sad. Oh, God. Why did you lie about receiving the captain's permission like that? Ellipses. Because I didn't think I would be able to get his permission. What do you mean? The captain. He only has ears for Cammy. <laughs> hey, Cammy, baby girl! I spoke with the captain a little earlier myself. He definitely seems to be rather taken with Miss Meal. Yes, and on top of that, I had mistakenly accused Mr. Edgeworth of being the killer. I wanted to make amends. In that case, please allow me to thank you for what you did. Thanks to you, I was able to clear myself of all charges. Really? You were able to prove your innocence? Oh, thank goodness. Miss Tenero, is it? There's one more thing I'd like to ask you. You were in the flight shop just before the turbulence would burn you. Please answer honestly. <laughs> Yes, I was. And why were you there? Well, I... Mm -hmm. By the sudden hesitation, Franziska seems to have struck a nerve. Didn't this happen that night, too? Where she just didn't want to ask, like, answer why she was there, but she said something like she, she just had to monitor the store because that was her job or some shit. But she acted oh. weird about it. Yeah, Obviously, she was, like, she was stealing something from the gift shop and putting it in her hair. Look at her hair! Oh my god. It does look like she's smuggling something nah, in her hair. Nah, her hair's just built different. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was go check up on the shop like I always do. You're saying it was for work, then? <coughs> yes. I'm in charge of the shop, so I have to... Yeah, okay, yeah. That's what she's I don't have any reason to go there otherwise. After your visit to the shop, you paid a visit to this room, correct? Yes, I came back to freshen up and adjust my makeup. I'm sorry, but there isn't much else to tell. Hmm. Mr. Nero claims to have no reason other than duty to go to the shop. But is that all there is to it? Maybe I should ask her about that thing. What is up with that hair? I would assume either... This. Yeah... But yeah, <laughs> that thing! If you could please take a look at this for me, Miss Tenero. Oh, that suitcase. Yes, about this suitcase. You are the one who designed it, correct? Oh, uh, she did it. Oh. She... I forgot. Yep. And I think I figured something else about it. Okay. The suitcase is the reason you went to the shop, isn't it? Ooh. There's nothing you won't find out eventually, is there? Won't you please tell me more about the suitcase? Yes, um, I... Well, I... I was interested in seeing how the suitcase I had designed were selling. I... I know that as a service professional... I'm not supposed to care, but I really wanted to know, and I was glad to see that it was the last one there. It was gone uh, when she checked. Ah! Uh, it was already gone when she checked. Uh, that's important. That's important to know. 
Write that down. Oh. Huh. The last one there. Uh, yes. So you're saying, Mr. Nero, that the suitcase in question was the last one? Yes, they're just so popular, they pra they're practically flying off the shelves. That's not exactly the impression I got. The one in the shop is most definitely the last one. Well, we're currently looking at that suitcase. Really? Then I guess we sold all of them? Oh my honey. That's, that's oh, not no. what... Oh no. oh no. I'm so sorry. Sweet summer <laughs> child. I didn't say anything about buying it. Then say you'll buy it. I... I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, there we go. Echo. I think it could agree with your complexion, Mr. Edgeworth. Green in the gills, is that what you're telling him? <laughs> I, I guarantee it personally, as a service professional. Um, well, that is... How should I put this? It's hideous. Oh, wow, no hideous. chill! No Jesus chill. Christ. No chill at all. What? Hmm. Well, that was a bit too direct. <laughs> Even Edgeworth's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm moving on. My issue <laughs> with the suitcases oh isn't God. the design. Ed Edgeworth would be the guy who would leave you on red and then explain later why he exactly left you on red. It's the number of them remaining. R remaining? There were two suitcases in the in flight shop when I investigated it. But that's impossible. I'm sure there was only one. Looks like her story has gotten is has, has generated quite a contradiction. When I left the shop, I'm positive there was only one suitcase left. Something is amiss here. What could be the meaning of this inconsistency? Let's see. Someone actually probably took the fucking suitcase. Maybe she's referring to the one that's, um, has the brakes on it. Hmm? By the way, Mr. Tenero, what is one of those suitcases doing here? There we go. He uh -oh. knows a good man. Good boy. Uh -oh. Um, that's... I thought you said there was only one left. One is, um, it's mine. I've used it for a very long time now. He's used it for a long time. Hmm. I think hmm. not. That's it, weird. Why, why Mr. That? Tenero, I'd that appreciate it if you wouldn't lie to me. Excuse me? I don't believe for even one second that you use this suitcase for a very long time. What proves that this hasn't been used for nearly as long as Miss Tenero says? The tag? Yep. <laughs> the price tag the is still price on it. Tag. Oh, I didn't realize that was the price. Oh my god. Tell me, Miss Tenero, is it also your habit to keep the price tag pristine on your suitcase? Yeah, all the kids are doing it with their hats, right? Uh, I hate it. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate that's a trend. Why is that a, why is that a trend for things? I don't know. They keep the stickers on it too. It's weird. Fashion oh. stupid. It looks like a shoplifter. What? What is the meaning of this? Why would you lie about the suitcase? Despite having faith in her design sense. Yeah, people like to leave fucking stickers and everything on their fucking hats when they buy them. Yeah, you guys didn't know, but that's been a thing for a while. That's like to show you how fresh the hat is. How fresh the- That's one that's of the stupidest fucking things I've so ever cringe. heard. That's so cringe. Have you guys no. never seen that Keen Keen Peel bit? No. No! Oh my god, I have to share this now. I, never I don't want that. to. I don't think I want to. My faith in humanity is dwindling enough as it is. is. Oh my god. Despite having faith in her design sense. 
The sales numbers made her cry bitter tears. I put it in stream chat. Bro, literally, it makes me think of, you know, when you buy, like, the clothes at Walmart or whatever, and they still have, and they have, like, the, like, the size yeah. of the shirt sticker on the shirt. Imagine just walking around just wearing that. That's what Ew, I feel like no. every time when I see a sticker with that, a hat with a sticker on it. I've no. done that by accident before and felt mortified. Yeah. Well, maybe. No. Well, I mean, Phantom, it might show how fresh the fucking shirt is, right? Like, hey, listen. No, at some this point, was, that this has was to, years ago. <laughs> that, that has to come off, surely, because it either comes off in the wash, which means if you see if I see you wearing that same shirt twice and that sticker's still on there, you didn't wash that shirt. Oh, God. Yeah, right? This is such a disturbing trend. There's so many implications. Yep. No, it, it's a trend. It, it, it's been a thing for years. I guess oh, yeah. I guess it makes sense because like I know that there's some people that like have groups of friends that will yell at you if they see you wear the same shirt twice in a week. I will do that. Yeah, I, yell at you. I, I saw people. I saw people when I was like middle We're school. Talking about people who leave stickers on hats. You would oh. fucking hate me then because I I, I wear yeah, I hate like that. I don't know why they do that. See, one of three. <laughs> Chad like doesn't a... know. Chad doesn't know. It seems. That that's, that uh, is like, a trend. Like, like, look, if I, if I ever buy a hat and there's a sticker on it, the shit comes right off. It, it, it's a thing, Yoshi. It's, it, it is a thing. I, I remember. I do I see was... a lot of people wish the, the sticker still on it because it's like some sort of fashion style thing. It's I don't to, know. It's to, tell, it's to show how fresh it is. It's so well, then fresh, I'll leave the sticker on a, on, on a shirt and I'll walk around with it and everybody can know what size I am and see how fresh it is. They this tastes like such a vain thing, too. It's like, oh, yeah, man, look at these sneakers. Look how much I paid for them. Like, Yo, yeah, cool. Can I break your legs and take Yeah, right? Okay. Ricky, anyway. you just told me how much those are worth. I'm That's gonna like, steal yeah. those. So, well, like, shit. I, I, so when I, I was think in that uh, Tenero here is more concerned about people not buying the suitcases. Yeah. I think that yeah. she's only yeah. keep. I think she only keeps going into the shop just to see if they're selling. You don't think she's just trying to be fresh? Uh, I mean, no, no, no. Uh, but I mean, even when I was in the middle school, like I would be like, "Mom, don't take the sticker off the hat. I, the kids need to know the cool. The hat's cool." Oh, uh, the truth. Is, the truth is becoming increase, increasingly clear to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm He's a fucking zoomer. I'm gonna chalk this up to a stupid Gen Z thing. You're the only Gen Zer here. What do Fuck you, you mean? It's been around for years, Phantom. <sighs> Even my time. You someone in that? my someone in my you chat said 15 to 20 years. That's still Gen Z. You say that oh like that I'm a, that ha oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. really hurt. It was what? your yeah. generation that started the trend, Phantom. <laughs> we Good were just by example, I, I, I fuckers. Did some accidental oh, emotional oh, damage to Scott. Oh. I oh, man. sent somebody to Jesus today. Who's getting sent to Jesus? I know. No, it's not even 2023. No, oh. <laughs> oh man, I want I want to evaporate. What? Hey guys, did you know that in five years and a few months after the fact, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts will be two decades old? Shut the fuck up! Shut <laughs> up! Stop talking. Two okay, guys, it's not That's the age of the game that that, that makes me. It, it, it's not the age of the game, it's the fact that the game actually exists is pain. Hey, how does it feel? Uh, how does it feel? Uh, how does it feel? Uh, I'm gonna vomit. How does it feel to, th to think that Sh the Shrek movie is almost two decades old? Holy fucking shit, I'm a dinosaur, Jesus Christ. What it's the fuck? Wait. If you're Miss a dinosaur, do you have tiny hands? It's been 20. No, it's been. It's, the, 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 the first Shrek movie came out in 2001. It's now 2023. Hey, uh, Mr. Nero, I think I understand. I'm surrounded by idiots. <gasps> I know what you're trying to hide. Out? Now then, this suitcase was originally in. Oh, yeah. Speaking of 1993, Jurassic Park. That's when it came out. That's the year I was born. Seeing as how the price tag is still on this suitcase, one can only assume it was out on the floor for sale in the shop. And the person who bought this suitcase was... Take that. 
It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Nero? I hate to say this, but this suitcase that you designed... It hasn't sold very well, has it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You saw how poorly this design that you poured your heart into was selling. And were deeply hurt. That's why you wanted to make it look like it was selling by buying it yourself. Isn't that right? Then, the reason you went to the shop and came back here was... I... I'm sorry. All I really have is my job. I... I was overjoyed when my design was chosen. I thought that maybe... Maybe I'd finally accomplished something. Suitcases didn't sell. It's because of the design, isn't it? All because it's, as you put it, hideous. <laughs> I can't say they chose a great place in which to sell them, either. We weren't selling a single one, and they were just sitting there collecting dust. I felt so bad seeing them there, day in and day out. So I decided to buy one for every flight I've worked. Oh, honey. Oh my god, honey. What does this girl have? Oh god, we're Too gonna have many. to go to our house. We're gonna have to go to our house later. Oh, She's god. basically not working for a paycheck. She's just chipping it back into the company. Damn. Does she have like a fort made of them? That'd be cool. You buy one every single time fort you work suitcase. a flight. Oh, sweetie. Mm. I see. So in order to, to keep your resolution, you went and bought one today as well. Yes, and here's my receipt for that. Oh my god, this is actually a thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's an accountant that's working at, like, the airline that realizes, Huh, the only time anyone buys a suitcase is when this flight attendant is on this flight. That's Weird. odd. <laughs> I mean, they don't care. The money is going into the Yeah, no, it's just like, oh, it's selling good. <laughs> hmm. This receipt is clearly timestamped 5.40 a.m. Uh, three hours off, but the time, the receipt timestamp is correct. The truth is, oh. there's still a bunch of them left unsold. They're planning to scrap the remaining ones at the end of this flight. Oh. Mr. Nero, where are these other suitcases? Every piece of furniture in her house. <laughs> they should all be down in the cargo hold. No shit. Aye. <laughs> then the suitcase, the, the killer used. Could very well have come from the cargo hold. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so she bought the one. That's why she's like, Oh, there was one more left. That may- Okay, honey girl. Oh my god. Oh, okay. And that's why there were no- there, There's also no evidence of, like, other stoppers uh, there either. Yeah. Since she probably took them with. Yeah. When she bought it. Or put the killer wouldn't have cared. The counter, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth. You don't think that the killer used one of my suitcases to... Mm. Yes, I do. The killer used one of your beloved suitcases... ...to move the victim's body. Ah! Well... How could they? Those suitcases <laughs> were meant to be faithful partners to our passengers on their trips. Well, it was a faithful partner. It helped them hide a body. That's all I ever wished yeah. for them to be. You Mr. Still Nero, is there any other way to get to the cargo hold other than the elevator? The only other way is just through that door there. And what about security? That door has no special lock installed because... Just to enter this room, you need a special keycard that only crew members have access to. Which means that the culprit is someone who can enter this room. Eliminating the passengers and leaving only crew members as potential suspects. That is highly unfortunate for her. Hmm, that narrows things down in a bad uh, way. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Francisco? I knew this was gonna happen. Going on these wild goose chases. You're a disgrace to the Von Karman name. And what do you mean by that? As a suitcase came from the cargo hold. That fact alone tells the whole story. Yes, which is why I said the culprit must be a crew member who used their keycard. 
Miles Edgeworth, you're proposing that Aquila rode the elevator from the cargo hold, correct? Yes, that's the only realistic possibility. Is that other attendant, Miss Meal? I asked her earlier, and she had this to say. Francisca got information out of her? Right? I bet she doesn't remember it. If I remember correctly, we couldn't get anything out of her because she was sleeping, right? Yeah, she kept sleeping. Uh, Weren't you Miss Meal? I was Miss Meal. I just finished drinking tea again. That was Kevin. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> you're just getting to the rules, guy. It's fine. You're, 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 you're what is it called? Method acting. Literal method acting. Uh, Not even joking. That is an actual. You could but describe I did it the process. But subconsciously, man. That is. That just means you're in tune with the character. That's just. That's just like the. I made it fun. before I took the nap. That, you're like Daniel Day Lewis, refusing to use his legs. That's oh, just like the I, final four. I, I like my legs. Like well, that candy point. meal is not a cripple. You're just, you know, different, different strokes, different character. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah. In order to make the elevator go down to the cargo hold, a different key card is required. A different one? Really? Yeah, and the only person who holds that particular card is you, Miss Rhoda Tenero, and only you. Dun dun dun. Uh-oh. Ah! What? Is this true, Mr. Nero? Uh-oh. Yes, I keep that key card in my locker at all times. Uh-oh. Could you please show us that card right now? Oh, no. Yes. Oh, hold on. Ah! I... <coughs> I don't believe it! <coughs> you really don't. What's wrong? Take I'm dying. The key card, it's, it's gone. Uh-oh. Very clever. Pretending that your card was stolen when in fact you're just trying to hide it from us. I need to be right back. I can't believe it. Be gone. <laughs> she almost pulled a fast one. She almost got through. Almost. <laughs> like Jared Leto, who refused to shower for Suicide Squad. Oh my. Method acting. Ah, uh, method acting. I just, uh, not to go too far on a tangent on that, it's just... Uh, it, has, it has its applications. And they're very good at certain applications. Other times, it's just... Usually, it just turns you to a dick. Yeah, I remember <laughs> when they borrowed the keycard. That was very neat. Like being on set and being like, no, 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 only call me by my character's name. It's like, oh, well, whatever. Uh, Good flashback to the whole Andy Kaufman thing. Yeah. Uh, Perry. <clears throat> Where he actually believed he was Andy Kaufman. <laughs> believed he was literally he was literally turning himself into Mia Fey and like being a spirit medium for the motherfucker well it was it, it was Andy Kaufman and I think what like one of the, one or two of his other personalities as well oh I didn't realize it was more than one personality he yeah apparently he picked up on other personalities as well which people were like that's yeah weird. <laughs> yeah that's Jim Carrey's one of those, especially with age, he's in one of those categories where he's such a great goofball and he's a master comedian, but at the same time he skirts that edge of, I don't, no. sometimes I don't know when he's really being crazy and when he's doing a bit. <laughs> yeah. Like there was a, a segment on like Jimmy Fallon or what? No, it was Jimmy Kill Kimmel where he like he went on some kind of weird spiel about like how Hollywood was all one big facade thing and he was like playing up a conspiracy theorist bit and it became apparent by the end of it but it sounded kind of legit in the middle and they like had to add laugh track later on because the audience actually wasn't laughing 
They were like, they weren't sure if he was serious or not. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Philo. I appreciate it. Thank you. I wrote my Phoenix little key card. Took it borrowed. Yeah. Also, also, you haven't read this line. I know. I just had to, had to uh, fix myself. Sorry about that. Speaking okay. Of Sky myself. adjust. Yeah, no, that that hurt a little bit, and I got scared, <laughs> so I ran and I made some more chamomile tea. Are you okay? Mm. Oh, she, she 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 was scared. She might have. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've really thought this through. Well, wait, it's not like that. You can tell us all about what it's like down at the station. Officer, arrest this woman. Okay, now you could just do a body search. Like. Yo, smile. Mr. Edgeworth. She's like, please save me. Please help me. The Level of God, please look at me. Look into my soul. Most plausible. An even greater ship poses when you can tell if someone is being serious or not. I'd say that's damage. That's risking reputation damage. What's wrong? There's there, there, this belief written all over your face. But Tuska, I know that you are the lead investigator on this case. However... Hold it. Don't even think about wasting any more of my time. Uh, Hold it. <laughs> Why is she in such a hurry? You know the rules as well as I do. Evidence speaks louder than words. Even if this isn't a courtroom, the basic tenet still applies. Mm. I intend to investigate the cargo hold now. What will you do, Miles Edgeworth? I intend to do likewise. Well, let's go then. To be continued, that's wow. it for this way. Go into... These are really long. Um, trying to think. Is it just me, though? I don't know. How many Should cases are in this? Five. Wow, we're only on two? Yeah, that's a bit of a chunky uh, game. Technically, it's the second case after the tutorial yeah so technically the second wow so this is the cargo hold huh this is huge I'm, yeah this is a this big is a fucking plane. plane it's so big oh my god oh my Jesus god <laughs> mm. phantom savage oh, oh my god my... there they all are... oh one is missing huh Hmm. There's, like, there's like seven of them. They really make you think. Actually, if my numbers are correct, that's uh nine. Because, uh, anyway. This plane is a special model. It has both a super large cargo hold and an ultra luxurious first class seating. And here's the elevator too, yeah. Yeah. So this is the real scene of the murder. There is certainly a high probability of that, which is why we are here, correct? But why would he be all the way down here in the cargo hold? Hmm. Okay! Let's get investigating, sir! That is a good question. If only people had, a like, limited access to the cargo hold, why would he be down here in the first place? Yeah, who is this Hicks guy anyway? We just, he's kind of a faceless nobody, right? Yeah, he's just uh, uh, so a guy in a suit. Is. Um, oh, no, but he has a like, he had a tag on him, so like he's gotta be. Of see, he, some... see, he, he had a lanyard on him, so he has to be something important. Oh, what if that? What if he had her key card? Hmm. He would have to have access to the. Uh... I'm saying this because I legitimately don't remember, and not because I have foretold knowledge. Let's see, Bed sheets. Oh, bed sheets. I can go for some my favorite. My favorite brand. The damn wash then, Sky Jeez. I'll do my wash. I got. I gotta do my mom's a uh, uh, um, comforter tomorrow anyway. Hey, hussy. What's with a suitcase, pal? That's what the victim checked on, Tart. So this suitcase belonged to Mr. Hicks. I don't think he'd mind if we took a closer look. Zooming in. That's a lot of finger pointing. <sighs> There's nothing out of the ordinary in here, sir. Wait. A file? There's a photo of Miss Von Karma in it, sir! What? Uh, huh? It looks like a profile on Franziska. 
A wawa? Uh, what? Why would Mr. Hicks have had a file on her? Is he like a detective or something? Did another detective mm. die? Oh, fuck. And those flashes are going to come back at some point. I guess the one job you don't want in the Phoenix Wright universe is a detective. <laughs> of course. All the friends just boy died, apparently. <laughs> Holy suitcases, Mr. Edgeworth! It's like an all-you-can-use suitcase fair! I think he might need one. What? <laughs> these must be... These must all... These must be all the leftover ones they couldn't sell. Ones the company is planning to dispose of after the flight is over. You would think they would buy them, considering that you want to have like really obnoxious ones to let people to, to let you know that they're yours. I mean, yeah, okay, that's, that'd be here's, smart. Here's the problem, though. Who's going to the airport without an already a luggage? Yeah, that's, luggage, the, that's luggage the exact bag. question that Edgeworth. That's the exact problem Edgeworth brought up in the last that, episode. That, that, that this business this business model it, like it relies on the fact that someone forgot to bring luggage. If they if they would just sell it in the airport and not and the plane. as I've said before. That would also mean there is a possibility Wait. they would also charge you extra for having to buy checked baggage. Wait, also, if they it's sold on the plane too, that makes it even worse. Who's going into the plane without luggage? I don't know. You have a carry-on and a personal. That's yeah, but why would you even people. need a suitcase? If, if you're going as far as the plane without it? luggage, if you're going as far as the plane without luggage, you're not going to suddenly think, you know what, in the plane. <laughs> And again, you, you have a carry-on and a personal, and for most people, that is enough. They don't even need a check bag. And that suitcase is most certainly not a carry-on. Yeah, that's a massive suitcase. So anyways, not a great business I, I could see getting one. Here's the one way I could see it. I could see buying one as a gag gift, like at Spencer's or something, where it's like, oh, that is an ugly fucking suitcase. I'm going to give that to somebody. <laughs> I could... I can see that. What? Oh, that. It's, it's twelve hundred dollars. Okay, twelve hundred dollars. What the fuck? Twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> Honey, how many have you been Honey. buying? Oh, oh no, every maybe the every flight. Uh, we gotta. Okay, no, we have to examine that. Just, just for the, just for the flavor text. Holy shit! What? Just as Miss Tanero said, the timestamp says she bought the suitcase at five forty a.m. I'm not gonna talk about the price. We're not. We're not gonna. No. 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 We're not talking about the okay. Price. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! Maybe wait, she is wait, playing. Wait, hold on. Oh, you wanna you wanna get a read on the? Maybe. No. Okay. Never yeah. mind. All right. Twelve hundred dollars. Uh, how Holy many shit. Hold on. One, two, three. Four, we don't know how many flights six. she's been on since they put in the shop. Okay. It's an indeterminate amount of suitcases that she's bought. These are not that's those suitcases she's bought. That's thirteen thousand dollars that's standing there. Yeah, that they're yeah. gonna just. Oh, you can't. Yeah. Just casually just off it. Yeah. Okay. That's thirteen thousand dollars. Right what there. the fuck are these suitcases made of that would cost twelve hundred dollars, bitch? Those suitcases where we made branding. fucking gold for that much. It's branding. Can we say embezzlement? That or Stop. real leather. <laughs> That word haunts me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> spy. <laughs> now, now I want to see the commercial for these luggages and they go, has this ever happened to you? Tired of forgetting your luggage in the plane? Hey, you need a place to put all the clothes you carried on you? Come and buy our fucking look shitty looking luggage bag for twelve hundred dollars. This paint job is really cool, don't you think? It's practically scrape Odyssey. Aren't you tired of like carrying your clothes no. on you on your arms on the no, plane? There was no tax to it. It's just that, yeah, that means oh, it was made gumption, here. See the price tag. I think no, we haven't brought. I don't think it'll ever be brought up. I think it's just a funny little huh moment. I don't think Gumshoe has ever seen anything that expensive in his life. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's cool. This practically screams Auntie. <laughs> oh, why not purchase one then? I'm sure no. it will bring no. you much happiness. No, no, no. 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 Edward, no. he doesn't 
doesn't have money! No! You think so? Then maybe I will! Let's see here. $1,200! Oh, we were Holy gonna figure shit. that out either way. Holy shit. <laughs> we're, once again, we always jump the gun. <laughs> I think Jesus. I'll pass. Yeah, Thank no, I, I think I'll pass too. On the that woman drops twelve hundred dollars every time she takes the flight. Yeah. Remember that? You are, you are losing money on You're, your every work shift. I, I, I don't know loss. what the going salary of a flight attendant is, but I imagine she's basically just giving Look, her paycheck back to the company. If, if it's anything. In, in in the live action version of G Great Teacher Onizuka, they hype the shit out of fucking being a stewardess. Okay, they they, they make it like the greatest job in the world. <laughs> when really all it is is alcoholism. Like the one girl wants to leave her job as a teacher just to be a stewardess because her friends is picking up like actors as boyfriends and has like expensive cards and jewelry. I'm like, the fuck kind of stewardess are you? <laughs> My mother was a flight attendant. And when your life becomes jet lag, you become an alcoholic. Right, and Miss Ten. Is this one of those TV rumors? But don't my like, stewardesses like bounces to get like free flights and shit? Yeah, kind of. Sounds like a TV. They, they, they get free miles and so many. It depends on the airline. She was yeah. basically paying the airline to work there. Yep, pretty yeah. much. No wonder they wouldn't fire her. She was a fucking cash cow for them. Oh my god. And Miss Tanero wonders why they don't sell. You'd need two jobs just to buy one. You know... I wouldn't be surprised if that was the actual reason why. Honestly! To be fair, like... If... Pretty much these are high-class people anyway, right? So $1,200 for them is kind of nothing, but at the same time... It's still ridiculous for something that looks like that for rich people. Yeah... Definitely looks like one is missing. Hmm. What's what is this brittle substance I'm stepping on? It's a bunch of glass Broken. fragments. From the glasses. There we go, Hunter. Yay! Ding. Everybody give okay. Hunter a gold star. <laughs> Into the brainscape we go. Connect the dots. Hi, you're streaming. Don't, don't make Sky. that That's the first time that's ever Aroused. happened. Maybe you should make that sound. Oh my game. god! I need a long nap after this. Usually my <laughs> Eureka moments don't have an orgasm. I think we could safely Jesus conclude Christ. that these fragments are from a pair of glasses. Uh, oh, I what can't. did the stream turn into? Oh, I got a little woozy. I laughed really hard. <laughs> <laughs> The victim also, was wearing a oh. pair of broken glasses. Oh no, come show. Come shoes is exactly what I universe. was thinking. I'm sure that the shards will match up perfectly with the remnants of his glass lenses. He got his ass beat down here. There we go. The victim was here, just as I suspected. He was actually getting jumped into a gang. So you're saying he had to wear the stick he didn't wear the sticker on the hat, so they beat the fuck out of Exactly. <laughs> that the real scene of the crime was here, sir? That's what we all established ten minutes ago. Isn't that what I've been saying for a while now? <laughs> Knocking your pay again. <laughs> we all just established this ten minutes ago. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Oh my. Oh my god! I swear, my my How brother. Oh. My brother I was playing. Uh... Okay, okay. Hey Morgana, I... what game are you playing? I have a legitimate question. Well, Morgana, what? what game are you playing? How the fuck did he become a detective? Right now? Yeah. What game are you playing? N nothing. Oh, what are you what? doing? What do you mean? What were you doing? What do you mean? God, fuck it! The bit's gone! Fuck you! <laughs> I was gonna have Gumshoe bit... do whatever the fuck you were doing, but you were doing nothing, apparently. I was- I was- I was watching this stream! Perhaps it is a bit early to draw that conclusion. However, I believe that the probability has just skyrocketed considerably. All that's left is to find the murder weapon. 
Where the fuck do I find the motor weapon? Because <sighs> <laughs> I don't honestly do not know where it is. Let's check the bed sheets. They're important. Exactly. Keeping track of this fresh many. Bear. Keeping track of this many pieces of cargo must be very taxing on the cargo crew. <clears throat> no, they just lose the memories when I worked as a part-time mover, sir. <laughs> By the look in his eyes, he's waiting for me to ask about the rest of the story. <laughs> See, there's this one but time with no a matter piano. how he pours on the puppy eyes, I have no intention of doing so. Oh. <laughs> can we... I dodged those manslaughter charges. Can we, can we check this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that this plane was capable of carrying such large pieces of cargo. This thing's as tall as two of you on top of you, that's what? This thing's as tall as two of you Ooh. on top of each other, sir. Wow, I'm glad you rewarded that. That was, that was <laughs> a little mind. Man, that Freudian slip fan of me, yo. <laughs> It would probably take 20 of you to cover the entire surface of this monstrosity. It seemed like you might chose your words carefully there, too, huh? All right. What, really? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that sounds about right. There's really no need to take that throwaway estimate seriously, Detective. Hmm. Uh, Something for later. Okay, we've got people to talk to, and... I want to see... Oh, hold on. I was using my other opposite hands. Box. Here? All sorts of boxes are piled up here. This one says flammable, and this one, it says... Pharmaceuticals. That. Mm. This one says for exorcism use only. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what kind of operation is this airline running? What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have flammable substances combined with cursed items. Is this some oh, kind of like weird deep cut reference to the exorcist or something? Have you noticed anything strange happening around here? No, sir! I haven't noticed a thing! I'm not sure that he meant to sound so oblivious. If they come Guy. up with a for gumshoe just so we can see how he became a cop. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm gonna post something in the you other chat here that you'll find hilarious. I bet he gave a cop <laughs> to make some money! If you make a gumshoe game, it has to be based on entirely something else other than solving puzzles. You arrived at the scene of the crime before Detective <laughs> Gumshoe, correct? Track oh, Gunsolid. Who's that? I don't- I, it might be one of his other statics, I think. <laughs> Maybe you could make a gumshoe beat him up. Yeah, that would work. And you then immediately began to direct the investigation. Seems to me that you are already here at this airport for something besides this murder. Right. That's what Gumshoe said before. Yeah, I was. Oh. I've been following a very large and involved governmental level international crime. Oh! Nothing. That's all. Sounds oh. kind of, a uh, Not it, huh? important. Just mediocre. Uh, just, you know. But it's much too large for one person to take on alone. So it was decided that I should form a joint investigation with the... Oh, Interpol. the Interpol! Ah, okay. oh, shit, there's that in oh, it. Hey, that sounds familiar. And Virginia is a part of this, too? Golly gee. Oh, my God, another one. Gee, Willeker. Are they running out of ideas yet or what? Pew, 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 another one bites the dust. I like to think of the Virginian and Interpol allusions and apologists as a sort of foreshadowing to this stuff. But yeah, Interpol is involved. It's a top secret operation, so I really can't tell you any more than I already have. Hmm, okay, well, thank you for the, the bombshell. Just gonna put the bit, put pieces together in my head, and there we go. Wham bam, thank you, madam. Now, why would Mr. Hicks have documents profiling Francisca? 
No, oh, I know. I bet he's a big fan of Miss Von Karma, sir. <laughs> Francisco said that she had come to this airport as part of an Interpol investigation. Oh, uh, maybe Mr. Hicks had uh, heard since she was coming here and he followed her. I... Detective, I think it's more likely that Mr. Hicks was, in actuality, Interpol Agent Hicks. I think Francisca has some explaining to do. Oh, Lucy! You have some explaining to do. You came to this airport to rendezvous with the victim, didn't you? Nonsense. What are you talking about? We found a profile detailing information about you in the victim's luggage. Huh. I suppose it was prepared for him so that he could recognize you when he landed. Which makes him not Mr. Hicks, but rather Interpol Agent Hicks. Isn't that correct? That makes this murder a little bit worse. Uh-oh. I should have known you'd figured it out, Miles. But it looks like they got to him first. So you really did come here to receive an Interpol agent then? Agent Hicks was on the trail of a very large international smuggling ring. Oh, she doesn't let down Oh man, is it the cocoons again? Oh no. Uh, Every fucking time. <laughs> God damn. He went undercover to investigate his crime. And it was I who put him on this case. I was supposed to receive a call from him on his cell phone once he had landed. I never expected to receive a call about his murder instead. Why does that game have so much finger wagging? I think we now have pretty definitive evidence that Agent Hicks came down here to the cargo hold. But what was he doing down here, sir? Probably checking the cargo if there was a smuggling operation. That makes so much sense. There's nothing but luggage! That's the reason. Oh, I get it! Maybe he forgot something in his suitcase and came down to get it! Oh... Uh, something I would- ah! Agent Hicks came here for a work-related reason of that, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure he was here to investigate the smuggling operation he was observing. Francisca, do you know exactly how he intended to pursue his investigation? No, unfortunately I was going to find out from him after he landed. I see. But this raises another question. A normal passenger can't access the cargo hold on their own. Oh, I'm sorry. Agent Hicks must have identified himself to a member of the crew and entered the cargo hold with that person who let him in. Yes, and then he was murdered here. These glass fragments and his broken glasses are a testament to that. And then... As the killer put Agent Hicks into one of the spare suitcases on his... Oh, that's kind of cool! They entered the elevator. But, while they were riding it up... Plane hit that patch of turbulence. Because of the intense shaking, the suitcase popped open, and Agent Hicks's body flew out. At the same time, his wallet fell out of his pocket, spilling its contents everywhere. Which explains why there was money scattered all over the elevator floor. He could barely fit in a fetal position. Weird perspective and sprite sizing. That's the right build. It's also, a dead body is a lot more flexible when it's, you know, dead and rigor as mortis long as has it's not, not said. Rigor, yeah, as, yeah. As, as long as rigor mortis has not set in. If, it, if he possible. just killed the person, it would have been very easy to contort his body to fit inside the suitcase. Disgusting. Yeah, I know it is, but that's, that's, that's the human that's body cool. for you. I think it's pretty easy to say who the culprit is at this stage. Oh, fuck. What? Uh, really, sir? She's, she's not saying to her, I wouldn't mind. I know what you're thinking, Miles Edgeworth. But the killer can none other be Miss Rhoda Tenero. 
All right, uh, let's fight on this, because she does not seem like the guy, the, the gal who would uh kill anyone. If it was a crew member, any vandalisms could have shown Agent Hicks to the cargo hold. But the point to keep in mind is the key card that allows the elevator to come down here. The BRB only person permit. with such high-level access is Miss Rhoda Tenero. I say that's a pretty decisive piece of information, but did you? Yeah, that makes sense. I know what she's trying to say, but I'm not certain it's as simple as that. That's all he had to say, too! <laughs> Alright. What puzzle? That might be true, but then it could be anyone, including Miss Meal, or even the captain. Uh, don't be a fool. A plane without a pilot in the cockpit is like a horse without a rider, crop in hand, much like Scruffy over here. D is he really neighing? Yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't disagree with her on that. Detective Gumshoe does always need a guiding hand. Very well, then. What about the other flight attendant, Miss Meal? Ah, huh. I thought you might ask about her. Hold it! But it's highly likely that the keycard was stolen from Miss Tenero. That was said earlier. Objection! It's highly likely. Is that possibility the best you can come up with? And you call yourself a disciple of my father. Uh, yes, well, while well, I don't have any evidence, I... Be quiet. You're a disgrace. There is more evidence pointing to Miss Rhoda Tenero, you know. It's not just the keycard that gives her away. Are you talking about the murder weapon? The Mr. Ifly piggy bank? She still thinks that's the weapon, huh? We haven't found a replacement for it, so... True. Yeah, she is also, she's also the only person with the key to open that display case. Hmm. Okay. But that is a fact. Stop right there, Miles Edgeworth. Also, I think that was a new uh, piece of testimony. Yes. You don't have any proofs that this was just a red herring. If you must keep on insisting that it's a fake, then what is the real murder weapon and where did it go? Uh, Speechless, I see. That's not a surprise. After all, you know that we've searched the entire cargo hold and came up empty handed. There must be a way. There must be something that can help me rule out the piggy bank as the murder weapon. Autopsy report question mark? Wait, no. What should be examined further to help us ascertain the authenticity of the weapon? Uh, Crime scene, they said they already checked everything. The body? The body would be yeah. the only thing because, uh, yeah. Work. Francisca, I think you were too quick to jump to your conclusions. Oh, was I? Yes. We don't even have the autopsy results yet. How could I not say that you made a snap judgment when you have yet to even see if the wound on Agent Hicks's head is consistent with the murder weapon? Scruffy! Yes, sir. Contact the medical examiner's office at once. I wish to hear the results of Agent Hicks' autopsy. Yes, sir! I'm out of here. We got a big problem, Miss Edgeworth, sir. Uh -oh. I'm running back down here. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Detective? They're still doing the autopsy, but they said that they already know this one thing for sure. Report now. The doc said that it's one giant bruise from a beating on his shoulder down to his mid-back. Hmm. Hmm. 
So okay. Big big bruise. From the victim's shoulder to oh. his mid back. He was beaten over such a wide area? No, he wasn't beaten. Ten to one, he, he was pushed off the balcony of that stairway. Ooh. That's literally the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Well, I'd say it's a sign the killer had a grudge against Agent X. It wasn't just his head. The killer went all out and hit him multiple times, sir. Fucked up, okay. Scruffy, what has had a grudge against Agent Hicks supposed to mean? I, uh, well, that's, uh... Here's... Was the wound on the victim's head consistent with the murder weapon detected? Curious. Uh, time to Extensively beaten, so maybe he didn't fall. Or he fell multiple. I don't know. Well, he was being. Hmm. Between oh. 3 and 4 30 a.m. Yeah, that's about a. Oh my god, that's way earlier than when Homeboy said he saw. Well, then again, his clock was wrong, so 5 30 was like 2 o'clock to him. Well, Tanero went and bought the suitcase after the murder. The time scrambling will have to wait. We're working with the time. I know, that's just, the time. I, I can't think We're, about that right now. This, that's, yeah, no, we can't, we can't, we can't. That, that'll be a situation for uh, us, us, like, <laughs> yeah, us 30 minutes from now. Oh, well, they said that they were still looking into that pot, so. Yeah. You're completely useless. Yo! <laughs> Sir, I told you already, you can't go down. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, I think this is uh, no, probably No, you LeBlanc. remove your... You, re you remove yourself from my way! Right, because he wants the cargo. What is all that racket? Yep. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> my luggage! My cargo! They're mine! I demand you return them to me! We're still we're, investigating We're still the investigating cargo. the cargo! Please understand I have a little patience. No. That was my twin brother talking at the same time. Don't worry about it. We're one human oh. being. I suppose there's no choice. Oh. Finally, I think he can- Hey, wait! What are you- Is he gonna slug this man? I think he's about to fucking warrior side B. You have left me no choice but to use my side B! Ah! You won't get past me! You can't be- Oh, oh. my god! This is- okay. Wait, that's it! So okay. that's what this oh. whole thing has been about! See, I knew it! First, there was the matter of the key to the display case that held the murderous bank. Oh my god, this is so, <laughs> so great! After all, you know that we've searched the entire cargo hold that came up with empty Hampton. He's still falling. Up. The doc said that it's one giant bruise from the beat on his from his shoulder down to his mid back. Oh fuck. shit! God, fuck! Ow! That looks like oh, that looks painful. Oh <laughs> my poor god! Guy. Eureka! All bitch. right, connect the dots. Oh. Of death. I fly piggy bank. Smuggling. Weapon couldn't be found. How do I. Scotty, you don't overthink it. That can't Cause, be right. Cause you... Yeah. No. no, okay, never mind. That's what I said. I can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Nobody could 
find anything that could be considered the real weapon in the hole. Is there some way for me to prove that this isn't the real murder weapon? Okay, so Agent I Hicks actually was think... was on the trail of an international smuggling ring. Extensive so bruising think... from back to head. Yeah, so I think that Peggy Vinkin caused the death with Lina because the, the conclusion is that that's the contradiction. And that's the conclusion we're coming to. Are we trying to connect them? Yeah. Connection could also be proving a point. Allegedly, the killer struck the victim many times over. Which is why there was extensive bruising over such a wide area. But is that really the correct conclusion to draw from the evidence? The bruise from his shoulder to the middle of his back is one continuous mark. Which is more suggestive of a single blow to the back. If that's the case, then the piggy bank is much too small to have caused that. Uh, yeah. Therefore, the murder weapon must be something far bigger. Yeah, the, 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 the thing LeBlanc landed on, right? Just almost shoved them off the staircase and they just die from the... Yeah, I think that's what happened. If we're looking for a rather large weapon, you'd think it would stick out. But so far, we haven't found anything that resembles a weapon of any sort. Perhaps, just perhaps, it's something we all overlooked from the very beginning. Because normally, it's too impossibly big to be taken into consideration. I can't believe LeBlanc solved this part. What was that about? Was he trying to jump his way down here? Francisca! But Vas! What do you want? I found it, Francisco. I found the real murder weapon. He, you did. Dun dun dun. He, he really jumped. <laughs> Two like different conversations are going on right now. We didn't realize it until now, but the answer has been right in front of us this whole time. He might be hurt. We should go check up on him. Says that guy. That guy is choking on his own blood. Like, this is that pompous attitude of yours again. You should learn to, to drop that habit. She's coming from a prosecutor with a habit of whipping everyone she comes across. Anyway, if you really are a prosecutor, then you'll back yourself up with evidence. You two aren't listening at all, are you? Come on, then, then. Show me this real murder weapon you speak of. I don't know. Because I Why don't you... have evidence. You don't. Hmm. I don't have any evidence to show you. Foolish reasoning for a foolish fool from a foolishly foolish fool meant to fool me. God what do you mean it. by I don't have any evidence to show? Perhaps I should have phrased it as that which caused Agent Hicks's death is incorporeal. Oh my god, just say gravity. Just say- just Forgive me, but I do believe I have figured out what was the real Francisca. cause of death. Ever heard of someone Fallen. called- The victim fell from a great height and subsequently died as a result. In other words, the real cause of death is free falling to the ground. He f f fell to his death? Yes, this is the uh, only plausible possibility. Francis, have you ever heard of a man called Sir Isaac Newton? The victim has extensive bruising on the back of his head and his back. And the only rational explanation for these injuries is that he fell to his death. Well, okay, so does that mean that the person moved the big fucking box over there to hide the, the fact that he fell? Because as we can see, LeBlanc is okay. He's perfectly fine. Question yeah, mark. He's, he's bleeding. bleeding. Cartoony, cartoony. Oops. That, man. They just assumed it was Matt's new <laughs> But the murder happened inside this plane. I know. Are you claiming that there's some place in, in this plane from which he could have fallen from? As I said earlier. The answer has been right in front of us the entire time. You... you can't mean... Yes, I do. The victim fell from the top of the stairs of this very cargo hold. 
What? Then, then, we're in trouble. We may have a second death on our hands, says. <laughs> oh. Hey, you, tell me you're all dead, pal. Quiet, why are you screaming? Yeah, see? Someone, one of these moved. But that's a lot oh, of fucking in the, in the, work, in the, man. The in the turbulence. Oh. It must have moved during the turbulence. He's alive! No. And there you have it, Mars Edwards. It's not possible that, that Agent Hicks fell over the railing to his death. That man is living proof of that. On the contrary. I suppose it's true that it's not possible. Thank you, Con. Given the current circumstances. <gasps> the current circumstances. What is that supposed to mean? Suppose that large piece of cargo wasn't there at the time. What would have happened then? Yeah, that's what I said. He would have been a Borginian pancake for sure. No, I suppose that man over there wouldn't still be breezing. But the reality is that the cargo box is there. So there's no point in entertaining your wild uh, hypothetical scenarios. Blech. It may be there now. But there was no proof that it was always there. Yeah, turbulence fucked everything Bitch. up. It's also weird that all those suitcases are aligned perfectly fine after turbulence, too. Odd. Very odd. As if there could have been a window of time when that giant box was not there. Oh. Ah, the but there was. On the contraire! Was? What can I use to show her that it's possible that the box was not always where it is now? Uh, the body? There's one, there is a few pieces of evidence that we have no, we haven't really ever used yet. Namely, one that sticks out like a sore thumb and hasn't been brought up ever since it was added. I'll give you a hint, it's a piece of paper. Oh, oh I think Sky got it. <laughs> we went, we, we made a brief stop at Zhang Fa. So, uh, for one we hour. We stopped from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. to transfer cargo and refuel at the transfer. One hour is a long time. <laughs> and apparently, according to the thing, he was already dead at this point. Yep. Take that! You refueled in, in the Republic of Zhang Fa? Yes, this flight had a short layover in Zhang Fa in order to refuel. But that wasn't the only reason for the layover. We also transferred some cargo. What if the box in question was only transferred onto the plane at that time? To further prove my point, let's take a look at what's next to the box in question. What is it? Hello. Ah, it's labeled Zing Fa Express! Oh yeah, it does. I didn't even notice that. Oh yeah. Correct, meaning it was loaded onto the plane in Zane Far. Oh, nice. Zane Far? Now, what if the box in question was also loaded on at the same time? It would mean that the box was not here in the cargo hold during the Europe Zane Far leg of the, of the flight. Making a clear drop from which Agent Hicks could have fallen to his in who to his death, entirely possible. Ah, but your theory is still very far-fetched. Then allow me a chance to prove how very likely my scenario is. My first order of business will be to examine that piece of cargo in more detail. We would we wouldn't Again, investigation. Another one on this fucking place. All right. So yeah. This big old box. Hmm. 
We this are is a rather large piece of cargo. Uh, there's a tag on it, sir. Let's see. Elf Red Statue. Never heard of it. Wait, Elf? Like the sitcom? No, not Alf. Alice. There's an oh. eye. Nor I, but all I care about is if we can prove it wasn't here at the time of the crime. Then let's go get investigating somewhere else, sir. I oh, no! Oh, I didn't see that. Hold on. I have it set up on my phone. Let me get the volume there. And... <clears throat> <laughs> Real kids don't go about touching my possessions without my permission. Yeah, don't rush up on me like that, pal. So this belongs to Mr. LeBlanc, does it? I should see what else I can find out from him. Oh, man. <laughs> I have got to talk to him again. Will. Fun times to be had for sure. Look, I don't go about. Touch your weapon possession without my permission. Your body's all weird since you did fall from a height. I suppose I'll have to appease Mr. LeBanc if I want to examine this in more detail. Appease oh. him? Uh. What does that mean? Hell if I know. How do I appease an angry man? Want a free suitcase? <laughs> I have one, it's covered in blood. I don't know, give on Karma to do it. Good job, officer. Mr. LeBlanc is certainly not an easy person to hold back. No thanks, no thanks there, sister. It's all part of the job, even if he didn't get eventually to get by. Well, I have a few things to ask him anyway, so it worked out in your favor this time. Thank you very much, sir. Next time I'll be sure to not let anyone through. Even if it takes my life for the process, sir. I appreciate the sentiment, however, we can't have people getting hurt on the job either. If I have a word with you, Francesca. I don't think you have the time for idle chatter. You still need to prove to me that your hypothetical situation is, in fact, reality. How about that, officer? Uh... Yes, sir. This cargo hold is really big! I can't believe they can fit stuff like that in here! Detective, what are you going on about? We're in the middle of an investigation here! Whoa! Stuff's falling on me! <laughs> I can't really get into my work without something like this happening first. Well, let's get this show on the road. So which item do you want to start on? In this world, there are those who are masochistic, and then there was Gumshoe. Man, can't believe Mr. Hicks fell to his death. I voted for him on American Idol. I never would have guessed in a million years. That is still only a hypothesis. However, the investigation should prove it to be true. Speaking of falling, I'm glad that art guy's okay. He took quite the spill. Yes, he was lucky to have landed on top of that piece of cargo. Yeah, I can just see it now. Passenger pays price for police foul up. Chino. Don't be like the fucking reporter guy from fuck no. Don't be like Riddler. Did Prosecutor Edgeworth add fuel to the fire of the first murder within a second death? Yep, I'm willing to bet that it'd make the front page. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, detective. Yeah, I know this girl a lot of heart. She'd love the story. I don't want to talk about her again. Never again. <laughs> never, never, ever again. Salmon? Oh. That's it. Oh, we do. Yeah, we don't have anything. Logic. Smuggling. Oh, did we Did we only examine it before? Yeah. Oh, okay, we should try talking to him. I did try talking to him. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. It was, okay, I thought I was. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I don't think the problems with talk to him maybe came up at first. Maybe. Anyway. I take it that this large piece of cargo belongs to you, Mr. LeBonk. Of course it's mine. I slipped this fine piece of art from Europe. The least that that is worth 10 million cents. No. Uh, maybe, maybe much more. He uh, always speaks in cents. He gets finite. Uh, okay. 10 it's million cents. That doesn't sound like a lot. How it's much? Wait. Hold on. That's 100,000. That's a lot. For art? Hmm. Art's hmm. not, uh, worth much Mr. unless you're dead. Mr. LeBlanc's reason for choosing this plane must have been the large cargo hold. Just like, yeah. uh, yeah, just like music and stuff, it's not, it's not gonna be up in price until you're fucking dead and you don't get anything out of it. Sad truth, Ten by the way. Ten million cents? Yeah, I know, that doesn't even sound like a lot. I suggest you stop trying to calculate how many packets of noodles that makes, Detective. I was already up to 400. Fine, how did you do that? I feel like you keep getting better and better and sing right through me every year. Now I grow with each revolution of the planet around the sun. I have the distinct impression he continues to madly spin in place. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I say his thumbs make no sense. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, so that, uh, 10 million cents, that in euros or in dollars? <laughs> Does it really make a difference to our case? Uh, Mr. LeBlanc, <laughs> there is a chance that your cargo is related to our murder case. Answer the question. I was wondering if you would allow us to examine it a bit closer. It is a valuable. It is a very, very valuable piece of art. So no, there will be no touching. Mr. LeBlanc claims to have brought a piece of art to Europe, but what? No touching. Curious. If Mr. LeBlanc has something to do with the smuggling ring... Uh-oh, stinky! ...then it's possible this fake statue was brought on board in Zhang Fa. I think I need to question him a bit further. Uh-oh, super stinky! Hey, buddy, what the hook? You might have hey, something buddy. that you're not gonna be happy uh -oh, about. Uh-oh, you got a fake. About your statue, Mr. LeBlanc. I wonder if I... I'm wondering if it might be a fake? How, how dare you say my art is fake? I suspect that your statue might be the target of an international smuggling ring. Oh. Don't, don't say such fantastical things, you see it's not there. So many oh, finger pointers. Men, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> wow. I see. Stop! <laughs> I have the certification of my cargo right here! Oh, evidence? Thank you. Sorry, pardon me. Do you mean the cargo certification document? Mr. Zinc LeBlanc, why didn't you say so earlier? Please show us, please show it to us at once. That's a lot of words. I fly airline airway, but I can't read it. Mm. I can't read this. What does this, oh, is it, is it in Borginian? It's probably in Borginian. It says it's paid as the cargo is put on the plane to Europe. <laughs> it's in Borginian. And there you have it, Mars Edwards. <laughs> Too bad for you. The statue was brought on board in Europe. Just as it states in the certificate. No, that's... So, that's just saying that it was here when he died. That's inconceivable! Which means that there never was a window of time in which the statue wasn't synthesized. Inconceivable! That's not good. Inconceivable! 
He does look like a guy from that movie. <laughs> Damn. It's Ren. Yeah, no, it's Ren on board, Jr. You can't understand it. I respectfully disagree. We can't discount the theory until I see the statue for myself. So does Jeeva has random wing dings and has a ketchup stick? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> you can have your wish. Look at it yourself. See, I am right. Oh. This. I know I've seen this somewhere before. I already see sus on this. <laughs> yeah, I do too, uh, honey. Don't worry. Saucy. For one thing, it's called the red thing, but like... This has yellow eyes. Oh, yeah, I, eyes. honey, I think your shit got swapped. What or you bought a fake. Wasn't this called like the red eye stone of La... Or, what's the Ali, the, Ali, Ali Fred, Fred statue. statue yeah. The Ali Fred statue is literally in the name. Hey, my man, do you have to put it with a statue called so something with the word red in it does not have anything red on said statue? You don't care about Good, it. Good, please. <laughs> I've seen this somewhere before. He's like, what do you mean? He said, oh my god. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is the Aleph Red. It gives us such a feeling of thought. I can practically smell it. Smell that, that fake fresh air. That being said, the sculpt itself is neat. Man, this thing's not I enough. smell bullshit. This thing's not that fresh, huh? It just looks I would love a little... more Mayan than yours. I would love, I would love like a mini one of these, just somewhere. I don't know. A little mini one. They make those somewhere, probably. It just looks more Mayan than European. Yeah, it does not. It does not look European. Hmm. The statue has a high amount of historic value. After it was unveiled at the Museum in Europe. I've bought, I've lost it in this country to exhibit it. Alright. Bro, it's not red! <laughs> it's literally not red it's at all. It's not red! I believe a closer look is warranted here. Hmm. Uh, let's walk to it and examine it. Uh, it we took all of your problem, energy. But... Oh, I didn't so... even notice it was in the glass. I mean, whatever. yeah, it's got to have an extra layer of protection. So this is the infamous Leaf Red statue. Hmm? Well, what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Did you find something? There's something wrong with this picture. We should examine it in more detail. Is there a deduce? Yay. One of the eyeballs. Not somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold. These eyes are awfully orange, don't you think? I was thinking of a more yellow hue, but okay. Yeah, and pretty. They remind me of sunsets when I was in grade school, sir. <laughs> I don't think you see what I'm talking about. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I, I do, but it's really like the color of the sun when it's setting, sir. Like, look at it! Ah, uh, the memory. <laughs> uh, I remember standing out in that field, sitting with my arms out until I felt ill. I don't care about sunsets. Focus, detective. What colors are the eyes in this photo? It was a good time back then. Uh, what? Uh, uh. Ah, the red! As I thought, the statue is a fake. <gasps> Mr. LeBlanc? If you're at least gonna make fake art, try to make it more fucking convincing. Hello? Right? How do you fuck that up? Like, that's a major detail. Yeah. Who, who do you want? Don't, don't you, don't, oh, you not know I am a busy man. I'll allow you two seconds for the answer. One, two. Okay, bye. The Olive Red, I suppose this is your pride and joy, is it not? It is the biggest trophy of this year. You know why I wanted to possess this statue? This trigger started 17 years. Oh my god. 
I think we're over chase. Uh, sounds like this Back is gonna be a long story. Back in the year 1987. Mr. LeBlanc, I regret to inform you, and you have my heartfelt sympathy, but... What is that? What is what is the sympathy you speak of? I've, I've never heard of this word. You'll see. I'd like you to... <clears throat> pair the eyes. The large fur there is very bright and pretty eyes compared to yours. I wasn't talking about the two of us. Uh, by the way, Mr. I meant Gumshoe. the eyes of the statue in front of us and the one in this photo. Mr. Gumshoe, is there a Mrs. Gumshoe? Why is this one yelling? Now that. Oh. Yeah, not yet. I haven't asked Mac. I mean, I haven't asked the girl yet. How about a Mr. Gumshoe? Uh, no, but only once and it didn't work out well. It is a photo of the statue displayed to museum in the Europe. Now do you see, Mr. LeBlanc? The statue before us is a fake. Uh, oh god. FAKE! <laughs> I believe that even further examination will be required. Now that we have confirmed that this is indeed a fake, there must be some sort of proof that this was brought on board in Zheng Fa. And I will present to you evidence that will resolve the remaining contradiction. He broke, love broke here. Yeah. The fucking eyes! You can do the scroll down. There's a big thing at the bottom that says lol. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Couldn't have been here the entire time if the tarp of the thing that came on in Zhang Fa is under it. Now cut it. Oh, we'll never know, right? Yeah, it's a document. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the yeah. same. It's, the, it's that tarp. There was clearly. Oh, I guess not that piece of it. Fingies? What? Oh, oh no! You Hunter, Hunter. I dude, it's uh, okay. Look, it was fronted like that kind of situ. Anyway. It's just a simple case of a cargo cover getting stuck onto another piece of cargo. Ah, that's not possible. But it is. It shouldn't be this way. But the statue is on top of the cloth. Supposing that the neighboring piece of cargo was brought on board in Zheng Fa, there is no way that any part of it should wind up under something from Europe. Which means cargo. that this fake statue was smuggled on board in Zheng Fa. But then, what about the cargo certificate? Let me ask in return, what about Agent Hicks? Why did he come down here in the middle of the flight? There is only one reason why. To secure proof of smuggling activity aboard this flight. So you say, but I don't believe he had to do that mid-flight. He could have just as easily inspected all the cargo as the plane landed. That may be true. However, you have it backwards, Francisca. Sure, Agent Hicks could have waited until after the plane had landed. But he had a reason for coming down to the cargo hold. Suppose he had found the fake at the airport. It would have been after the swap occurred. At that time, the suspicion would naturally fall onto the statue's owner, who would have no way to prove that the statue was switched without his knowledge. Which means there is someone involved who is forging or modifying cargo certificates. Oh boy. Big shit. That's a lot of... <laughs> There's some Boop. I guess the victim knew the real version of this was gonna get nabbed, huh? Yes, while this photo could be seen as nothing more than a simple souvenir, it was in fact taken to be used as a reference document later on. Yeah. Smooth. Next, Agent Hicks had to secure proof that the smuggling had taken place. He came down here to take a picture of the cargo hold, and a rather empty one at that, right before the fake statue could be loaded on board. A 
photo of the holds missing a valuable piece of cargo would have been proof enough. After that, all he had to do was hold the Zhang Fa cargo crew and arrest the smuggler. Exactly. This only goes to prove my theory. But he died before that could happen. Yeah. If the statue was not in the cargo hold during the Europe Zhang Fa leg of the trip, there would have been enough height from which Agent Hicks could have fallen to his death. Officer, move the statue immediately. I want a thorough examination of the floor underneath. Now! It only weighs 500 pounds. It's on a pallet. So. Yeah. Oh. Miss Von Karma, I'm ready to report my findings. Go on. Uh, after moving the Aliford statue out of the way, we uh, tested the area under it with Lumino, and there was a reaction. Boom, baby. Science! Oh my oh, god! That's, that's a, a lot, lot of, of blood. That's Ew. a lot of blood. Holy of shit. <sighs> that One wasn't even died. like a small reaction. That's a big fucking reaction. Yeah. And all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty Bumpty back together again. Couldn't put the blood back in him again. Holy shit. Damn. A inappropriate gumshoe. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, no. I see. There was a reaction to Lumino, an indication that there was a blood that there was blood in that spot. Hey, can we stop looking at it now, sir? Come, sir, you're a cop. This is your job. Did they run it, this no. person through with a sword? No, they just pushed him off the goddamn uh, stairway. Also, welcome, Mara. It would seem that my deductions were correct after all. On a better it's fucking spot. It's grape spike. jelly. Goddamn it, please. <laughs> I suppose it would appear as that way. The culprit cleaned the blood up well. Uh, probably with fabric, right? <gasps> oh shit! And how do you oh, think shit. the killer did that? Ah! We know what it how is. How did the killer clean up all the blood? That's I don't know. How uh, did the killer do it? Oh god. The killer used the bloody cloth I found inside the suitcase to clean up the mess. I see. They had a need to clean up all the blood before the plane landed in Zhang Fa. He's yes, because right. otherwise... Detectives investigate murders all the time. He should be used to blood by now. It's, no, you man, know, he's like well, a Well, given our reaction, character. I mean, the, it's it's the fact of the matter you're imagining the scenario happening, like, it's... Grotesque. Yeah, he's a yuck as a character. All he does is, like, beat up people. He doesn't, like... Dante saw, saw blood all the time! What the fuck are you talking about? That's Dante! That's not... Yeah, that's not Gumshoe. Yeah, we're, we're trying to establish a more realistic psyche going on with Gumshoe, so... I, I didn't he say was... Dante. Not like a malicious said... intent person. Okay. I didn't say Dante. I said Dante. Well, Dante, Dante is still, like, a, a detective detective that is also a homicide detective. Yeah. He specializes in homicide most of the time. And Gumshoe does not specialize in anything as he's Blue. just he's a general ass detective that they always spend the crime scene. He's scenes. Columbo. And those crime scenes happen to involve murders. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. No, he, he's not there for the murder. He's a witness for some of them. Well, yeah, that's just an uh, unlucky happenstance. <laughs> The thing is, though, is that no matter how many times you see it, it can still affect you really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because otherwise the cargo crew would have been dis would have discovered it during the layover. Because I do have a gruesome story, but I'm not going to talk about it on stream. <laughs> mm. Damn, Sky. With my mom Damn. and how oh. she had to clean up a really bad mess. Um, Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> mm -hmm. She doesn't want to get her mom to go to jail. No. She was the one who had to clean up a mess with brains everywhere, Morgana. Oh. Yeah, definitely we're going to leave it there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Oh, okay. enough. So did my mother. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mama Land and Mama Sky got a lot of <laughs> Yeah, right? They do this They do Spider-Man pointing into each other. You too? Yo. What? <laughs> so you guys are saying that the murder happened before the plane landed in Zinkfa? There's no other conceivable timeline for the events of the murder. But if that is true, then that throws a certain person's testimony into doubt. That's the doubt. Uh, what? I forget. 
repressing this guy? If the murder occurred before we landed in Zainfar, then this becomes highly suspect. Tenero's testimony, wait. What was the one we had testimony? The sleeping booby finally strikes. Oh my, she, she slept killed this guy? I don't know. That would be fucked up. <laughs> Recall Miss nice Smeal's testimony about Agent Hicks in regard to when we departed Zane Far. Hey, I remember Wendy turn. was when I was, when I was uh, half dead and I woke up to realize that I did. I mean, anything's possible, right? She, 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 took the, she takes the term yeah. sleeper agent uh, very literal. Oh my God. There is, okay, I laugh. Because there is literally a very good TV show called The Flight Attendant, where the premise is she dates a guy, wakes up to him dead, and doesn't remember what happened, and questions if she killed him or not. That's a TV show, not a TV movie? Yeah, it's a TV show. Well, all right, oh, it's like a Showtime thing. Okay, so it is more like a TV movie. Like, well, it's like a Did you know that TV movies seasons. like that and the Langoliers are technically American OVAs? Anyway. Fuck up! <laughs> Oh, that oh, God. Why do you have to do that? That took some psychic damage. I don't even know what was going <laughs> on. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. Him. Somebody clip that psychic damage right now. <laughs> oh I'm going to weaponize that clip. You shit. bet your I'll bet. I'm going to weaponize and OVA. Really? <laughs> yes. A Stephen King OVA. Oh, Stephen yeah. King OVA. <laughs> yes, the Langoliers, the Stephen King uh, miniseries at Arrow TV. <laughs> I basically am comparing TV movies like the original It and the Langoliers to OVAs because they air in like, it's like a three hour marathon of a film, but oh, they air God. in parts. So it's technically an OVA because an OVA is like a miniseries that what does basically that. that. It, it, it there... was that. It was a TV thing. I forgot. I always forget what? it was a TV thing. Wait, yep. wasn't there another... Uh, Stephen King miniseries where it's like a like a town or something like it's yeah that, that was on Sci-Fi and it was an actual series. What was that one called? No, uh, no, Haven. I, no, 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 there was another one. No, I'm not talking about that. No, I'm not talking about that. There's another one. Oh. Nostalgia Critic did a review on it as well. Yes, yes. I forget I'm the name gonna, of it. I'm Must be very. Tommy Knockers. Is that what you're thinking of? No. Wait, what was it again? Tommy Knockers. Mm -mm. It's possible. It does take a place, in, it's like a whole town's getting like fucked up. Why I think it might have been that. I mean, not really. I'm pretty sure it was that. But also, there was another, uh, there was another <laughs> Shining, uh, oh, there was God. a Shining TV no, series. I think of the, no, the, that I think was of the, abysmal. I think of the stand. No. Oh. Hmm. oh, definitely not. I haven't heard of that. Okay, thank you, Yoshi. Recall Miss Saint Miss Meal's testimony about Agent Hicks in regard to when we departed Zing Fa. Don't encourage Hunter's bad behavior. I saw Mr. Hicks sitting in his seat at 5 a.m. Yeah. He claims Agent Hicks was alive at the time of service calls, but this bitch done killed a man. That totally contradicts the facts, sir. But why would she lie about something like that? I think the only person who can answer that is Miss Meal herself. There you go, Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi clipped it! Yay, weapon. Hunter's weapon. Yay, weapon. I can't believe Hunter has a tank buster. Long save. Long save. Well, I'm hoping it's long. Alright, this is the finale of the case. Oh right. my god. I kinda wish the I kinda wish I kinda wish the plane Good was job. still flying, honestly. You're you're guilty, Miss Chamomile. Now throw her off the plane. I do no, no I, I wanna do that, but I like the oh idea God. of like the time limit for the Oh no. Miss Meal. Who? Fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, oh they were getting into the character! God. She's getting Method. into character! Miss Meal! Do you recall was, what you that, said earlier? That was like the most genuine ha huh, I've ever I, heard. This is so about good. when you answered some service calls as we were departing from Zengfa. Uh, huh? You said that Mr. Hicks was sitting in his seat at the time. 
However, that is simply not possible. Because Mr. Hicks was dead long before we ever touched down in Zhang Fa. The dehydrate's coming quickly. Oh, all right. Oh. I'm out of water. I'll have to grab some. I'll have to take a sip of Pepsi for my mini fridge. Miss Kami Mill. No one could make a mistake so large, Miss Meal. I can't wait to see her. Uh, Is she a stoner? I can't wait to Blaze. see No, she sleeps all the time. No, Blaze, I have Get a it? mini her fridge. Her name is Chamomile, Vicious. No. Sleep what? enhancement. It's Blaise, a character have... literally made for her. Yeah. Blaze, I have a mini <laughs> So, Scott. Blaise, a... uh, but I make that kind of bibbit all the time. Blaze, I have a mini fridge now, so I can just go to my mini fridge and grab a Pepsi and take a sip from that. Is this is going nowhere? There must be a better way of resolving this contradiction. Very well. Miss Mill, if you please, tell me about your alibi during the time span. From just before we were to land at 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. when the body was found. <sighs> Are you telling me I'm a suspect, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes. Yes. Hey, oh I my god, the dead ass look <laughs> I, 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 I know shit. I played this before, but I don't remember, but I, I gotta see her uh her you right. done did it reaction. Oh yeah, let's no. Just, let's just let's just be grateful that we're seeing Cammy Meal and not her twin sister Cammy Toe. Uh, bad, 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 bad. Go to jail. Uh, <laughs> kick him out of the call, please. <laughs> Everyone um, dislike that. Um, yeah. From three to four, I was uh, in the flight attendant's room all by my lonesome self. <laughs> no! Oh, so, um, uh, yeah. Um, from five to six, I was, um, in the flight attendant's room, all by my lonesome self. No, uh, wait, well, hold on. It How sounded the same, but it was different times. How was a man supposed to react to a testimony like that? You don't. Miss Meal, wake up! Ah! Uh, uh. <sighs> she fell asleep again. It looks like the only way I'm going to be able to wake her up is by pressing her. Oh my. And I think I have an idea where she needs to be pressed. You just dump coffee in her Three mouth. Before I was in the play to his room all by my lonesome self. And from five to six, I was in the play to his room by my lonesome self. What do you mean that's not a standard issue outfit? It I feel like we're meal. missing a span of time. She specializes in sleep. She carries two big pillows Three with her at all times. and then from three to four and then from five to six. What about four to five, honey? What were you doing then? Finally awake, are we? That was intentional. Damn, man, I've been... Stop! What? You're yawning! You're actually yawning! I hate it! And it's like it's like playing playing cabin meal, or just like it is still something of the sky. Oh, it's all right if you were sleeping, pal. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> hey, look, it's Sky and Phantom right next to each other. You're right. Top oh my god. <laughs> hey, no mind to the scruffy detective beside you and wake up. Guys, can you need to ah! your uh, avatar there, please? Hurry up and wake up, Miss Meal! Enough with the clowning around. This is my show, and I will resolve the contradictions as I what see my... fit. Did you okay. just say it's my show? Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, this circus. This is my story. Yeah, this circus is my jokes. game. And we'll do I like, no, I didn't I like... mean to do it again. God damn it. Because her talking is so fucking slow. Yeah. God. 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 No, 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 Take my time with this, because she talks really slow. Okay. Now, don't touch nothing. Press and this. that's so you were alone the entire time were you yeah no one else even popped in their head to say hi oh well i think a contradiction just popped in to say hi what should i do should i raise an objection 
Uh-oh. Miss Meal, there is a clear contradiction embedded in your testimony. Huh? What are you talking about? It's not possible that you were alone in the attendance room the whole time from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. After all, she said she not saw... That, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Not that either. This. What? Yeah. Eh? All right. All right! There you go. Yeah, you're right. She bought her own fucking suitcase. Oh, I no. wonder if you would be so kind as to take a look at this receipt, Miss Meal. Huh? A receipt? For what? It's for the suitcase Miss Tanero brought. Now, if I may direct your attention to the timestamp. As you can see, it clearly says 5.40 a.m. Mr. Nero! Oh, hi! Here she is. Uh, where... Ha, was she here? I no, it must have been. Just... Yes? Spontaneous. Huh? Why is the killer here? I thought you had her locked up by now. I requested that she be president as a witness so that we may straighten out your complex lie. We got another sippy! Yo. Now then, <laughs> Mr. Nero. Between the hours of 5 and 6 a.m., you took a trip from first class down to the first floor in-flight shop, correct? Yes, I went to the shop to buy a suitcase, after which I went straight to the attendance room to drop it off. And did you see Miss Meal there at the time? Um, no. So, Miss Meal, were you really there? Between the hours of 5 and 6 a.m.? Uh. <laughs> Miss Kami Mew! Uh, uh, um, the bathroom? What, what you, were, you were there? I'll be the one to ask the questions here! Yeah, maybe that's it. I probably just missed her. Na nature calls, you know? You take me for a fool. It's a little too convenient to be true. Um, but it's the truth. Cross my heart. Hmm. I don't have enough conclusive proof to counter-argue her at this stage. Just question her bladder, it's fine. It'll probably answer correctly. Cross-examine her prostate. <laughs> no, she doesn't have one! Well... You what don't believe fuck? me, do you? <laughs> but please, why don't you give me a chance and hear me out? Oh god, we're gonna hear a cross examiner about a piss. I took a really good piss. You missed it. It's very good. Look, you know I that know. post piss? <laughs> you know that feeling you get when you pay for a really long time and then you shit? Oh my and that feeling you get after you shit? Yeah. That's why I'm tired all the time. I have those all the time. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Literally. Literally. The holy shit. Look, I know you're suspecting me because I'm one of the. But you think, but you think then, think then maybe you should also suspect Miss Rhoda too. She's the one in charge of the elevator keycard and the shop, you know. If you ask me, that makes her super sus. Sus. I got you. Please leave Miss Tanera out of the conversation. Only you are under suspicion for now. I don't get it. Why are you covering for Miss Rhoda all of a sudden? Oh, now I get it. Maybe you've got your eye on Miss Rhoda? Of course I'm keeping an eye on her. I can't very well let her escape, can I? Fucking such a... <laughs> oh my such god. Such a fucking... What was that show you were watching? Full Metal Panic? That's such a Full, full metal, metal Panic, panic yeah. response, yeah. yeah that, that, is is a, a... that is a fucking Full Metal Panic response. <laughs> Never That's exactly mind. what fucking Cigaro would say right there. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but you want to know something, Miss Rhoda? Actually, kind of look. I have absolutely no <laughs> interest in people who can't appreciate my sense of. <laughs> oh, oh like my! Cool I that shit good. before I'd had a chance mm -hmm. to say all. Did you know? Phoenix would be very upset with you, Edgeworth. <laughs> Now's not the time for this sort of talk. Your boyfriend be very mad. I have Did... a husband to commit to. 
And what are you in charge of? And what are you in charge of, Miss Meals? Keeping the captain very happy. <laughs> um, I take oh, care yeah? of the attendance <laughs> room. That doesn't count. Oh, but I spend so much time in there. It might as well be my responsibility. So essentially, she has no responsibilities, and Rhoda how does she does keep everything. her job? Uh, she well, has the because she flirts with the captain all the time. Yeah, she has the hand of yeah. the captain's pants. Literally. Oh, my Phoenix is still a little confused about his feelings for Edgeworth. They might actually be real feelings. Mr. Edgeworth, Cammy is very talented. Oh, right. Oh, right. Right, yeah, she I is a translator. language, yeah. So she assists passengers who may not speak English. Mm. Especially those who speak Virginian. She's the only one on this flight who is fluent. She also oh, used to take you mean that kind of, what am I in charge of? Oh. You mean that kind of what am I in charge of? Why didn't you say so in the first? That's what. That's what he said. That it is. What else could I have meant? Right. Yeah. So I'm really good at Virginian. Oh no. She's fluent in Virginian. Then I suppose you're in charge of processing documents in Virginian. Yeah. I take care of anything that has to do with Virginian. Very interesting. Uh-oh. So... We haven't pressed the last statement, to be clear. Okay, we can do that. Hold it! Actually, your on-the-job behavior makes you super suspicious in my eyes. While Miss Tadeo is busy with the passengers and all our other duties, you have a lot of free time on your hands. Thus providing you with ample time to commit the crime. Bows at us, I demand that you cease and desist in this line of conjectural questioning. I won't allow you to bluff your way through this like a certain defense lawyer. Oh shit! Damn! <laughs> Gee, I wonder who can. This all of a sudden, this Phoenix like, <laughs> don't bring up my mm. boyfriend. But I do not honestly believe Miss Meal does any actual work aboard this flight. Oh, uh, that's not true, Mr. Edgeworth. Although, well, all I'm in charge of are the attendance room and some Virginian stuff. Some Virginian stuff. <laughs> So what exactly do you do as the one in charge of some Borginian stuff? Some <laughs> Borginian This is so stupid sounding. It was sad. Um, I do stuff like translate things from and into Borginia. Cammy is the only member of the crew who understands Virginia, Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Mill, I take it then that it is your job to process all the Virginian paperwork? Yeah, see, I totally pull my weight around here. So it would appear. I know, it and is I'm totally insane. <laughs> Perhaps I should ask her for a few more details about her work. And. Miss Meal, it's very unladylike to put suspicion onto someone else. That's not what I'm doing at all. I'm just saying that Miss Rhoda is very. Su she has, she said. <laughs> say it! Say it! Say it! Say it, guys! Oh say my it. god! I'm just say the word! Miss Rhoda is very sus. There you go, pushing everything onto her again. Um, I don't get what you're saying. It must be a really abstract concept, huh? Hmm. The only thing abstract here is the landscape inside your head. Oh! Holy shit. Look, I know you're Shots suspecting fired. me because I'm one of the crew. But you did make me a little too. Ask me that makes you super suspicious. All I'm All in charge of is the room and some Virginian stuff. Well, this thing's fake as fuck. Very upset. <laughs> this thing's hmm. Where is it? This here. Objection! Okay, I'm glad hmm. I was right. So, you are the only one in this flight crew that speaks Virginian. Is that correct? Uh, oh, 
yeah, I, I, I guess, are you, are you defeating something over there? Mm hmm Are you defeating you. something? Are you killing a thing, or? I would just drop something. Oh, okay. I studied abroad in Virginia for a while. If that is the case, then the signature on this document belongs to you, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Oh. This is a falsified piece of documentation with only one purpose. To lead Dude. anyone who read it to believe that Mr. LeBlanc's statue was loaded in Europe. Dude, Edward movie is so good. Yeah. The only person who could have either prepared or processed this document in Borginian is you, Miss Meal. Yeah. Without your participation, the smuggling of the leaf red could not have occurred! Uh. Don't sleep while I'm pointing my finger at you! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Fucking god. really? Don't diss oh. the finger oh. away! Oh! Hello! There we go! Ooh, there, yeah! Is that nail polish? Oh, no, it's just bubbles? She's just she, she blows was, bubbles. Wait a minute. She was blowing the bubbles. She was blowing the bubbles underneath her hair. Under her hair. What a bitch. Oh, I wouldn't dream of falling asleep on you, Mr. Edgeworth. Are you not going to do a full oh. voice change? Nope. Oh. It is exactly as you say. Are you confessing to having participated in the smuggling? No, far from it. It's true that I was the one who signed off on that document. But you can't use that fact alone to make your allegation of smuggling stick. There is no direct correlation after all. Oh, big bubble. Big bubble. All you have is my signature on a piece of paper. Really? All you did was sign it. I neglected to check it if the cargo had been loaded onto the plane properly. So, sorry about that. It seems that she's finally woken up. This is going to be one tough fight. Can't wake Suppose, up. and this is just a supposition. Even if I was involved in the smuggling, you can't throw the charge of murder on me just like that. Objection! If you were involved in the smuggling, you would have had a strong motive to kill. Agent Hicks was in the middle of an investigation regarding the smuggling ring. And just when he was about to close in, he was killed by a member of that ring. Well, did you ever stop to think that maybe Rhoda is a smuggling ring member? After all, unlike me, Rhoda has access to many things on this plane for work purposes. Oh, damn. She's shooting at you. She shoot bubbles at him. <laughs> Machine gun. Hmm. So perhaps there is some element of a setup of play in this case. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't She's talking about bit. you. I meant the killer. I like the sound effects on it. It's so good. Peel, <laughs> use bubble beam. <laughs> oh my god. First, it was myself, and now it is Miss Tanero who is under the microscope. Seems to me that our killer is going to great lengths to pin this crime on anyone they can. You have no proof that Rada is being set up. Or that she isn't. Actually... I believe that she was indeed the intended target from the very beginning. I believe that the plan was to push all of the blame for the crime onto her. Yep. And this evidence will prove my suspicions. Uh -oh. This proves that the killer was out to frame Miss Tenero from the very beginning. Oh, I have man. no goddamn idea. The I have no idea. Suitcase. <laughs> I would the suitcase. Imagine. The suitcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The because that's what you, yeah. Done. Cause like she, yeah. yeah how yeah. stupid, we, how stupid we have to be to use the suitcase that you custom made and then tell everyone, hey, this is my suitcase. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be weird if you just bought a body in the store? Oh wait, huh, huh? Eh? The killer could have hidden the body anywhere, and yet they chose the suitcase. Why is that? Perhaps it was to move the body up from the lower deck to the first floor. However, why go through the trouble to do so? Yeah, it's not that far. Ooh. She's tugging on that bear. It's gonna, she's gonna rip its head off. She may. Oh no! The bear's just like, oh. 
the only way all of these actions make sense is if the killer had wanted to frame Mr. Nero for the murder. Mr. Nero buys a suitcase on every flight she works without fail. But should her suitcase be switched with the one containing the victim's body, that would put her in a very tight spot. Unfortunately for the killer, the turbulence put an end to that plan. Huh. Yeah, I see. There wasn't enough time to put the body back into the suitcase. Ergo, they may do with whoever was at hand, adapt their plan, and try to frame me as I lay unconscious on the floor from the turbulence. The, the killer then went to hide the suitcase in the in-flight shop and brought the piggy bank back to the elevator in order to fabricate a false weapon. A lot of work for a fruitless endeavor. Wouldn't you agree? Sounds like the killer had a tough time too, huh? I mean, why did the killer need to frame someone that badly anyway? That is because of the special circumstances surrounding this particular case. What special circumstances dictated the need for the killer to frame someone? Where the murder... What am I... <laughs> what special circumstances dictated the need for the killer to frame someone? Where the murder took place, when the murder took place, who the murder victim... Who the murder I guess victim where? Was. I, I feel guess like the who, yeah, because an Interpol agent's murder is a pretty high. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a pretty like high a, profile It's like case. a combination of killing a U.S. marshal and FBI agent. Like that's yeah. a big deal. Nope, it was wrong. I I, fi I, I figured. Wait, I think it's where the killer was at a loss of what to do with Agent Hicks's body. But as it just so happened, there were a bunch of empty suitcases nearby. Being a skinny man, the killer thought to put his body in the suitcase and hand it off. You mean that the whole plan to frame someone was an elaborate coincidence? No, that's not what I said. You've only deduced my meaning, Miss Mew. Savan so with the so wrong did yeah though. Sink before you speak okay, so I think it's Patience, where... Francisco, I was about to reveal the truth. So maybe it's time. Yeah. Oh, or... because of their Or where? Yeah, because I think it's the where, because the whole point was they were moving the body. Why would they need to move the body? They were trying to frame them. Like, what was it? There has to be a reason why they wouldn't. Why not leave the body there? They moved, okay, so they moved the body to hide the fact that the whole smuggling ordeal was happening. Yeah, because that right when next the to the body. The place would have made just as much sense to put the blame on Edgeworth. Side note, I love the fact that when Phoenix fucks up, he's like, Oh no, I'm an idiot. But when Edgeworth fucks up, he's like, no, no, wait, you didn't let me finish. Spotify of my master plan. <laughs> he's like, Act actually, you I was an idiot finish. on purpose. This is, I, 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 you know in chess when you sacrifice a pawn to it's win part of my bit, I'm getting to it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, let me cook. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's the, I think it's the where, because if they found the body in the cargo hold, they would probably, they could have also noticed the smuggling. Because they could have been like, oh shit. This, per this person was killed. Oh, let's stick with this statue. Wait a minute, this statue is a fake statue. Oh, the statue must be connected to the murder. Yeah, and then the entire thing would have, like, her it entire purpose in the It also would've... could be when dictating the fact that the smuggling took place after he died. So the necessity to get the body out of there would have meant that they needed to, and the to turbulence move the crust. at the same, at, at, around that time, too. Well, they, yeah. but they could have but they could have perfected the turbulence, though. Yeah. I think it, I think it's the where. I think it's the. It would be the where. Yep, there it is. The special circumstance is simply that the murder took place on a plane mid-flight. No matter which country, customs is quite strict in this day and age. So no matter what you do, the chances that the body will be found is very high. There was only so many suspects in a plane murder. Therefore, there was no choice but to frame either Miss Tenero or myself. In other words, the only one who fits within the boundaries of the criminal's movements is not Miss Tenero or myself. But you, Miss Camille, only you and you alone could be the killer. Uh, oh, she's back to sleepy mode. And... Uh... Huh? 
Are you done already? I was about to fall asleep again. Anyway, let's be honest here. You don't have anything on me other than a whole lot of circumstantial evidence. <laughs> Woo! I can see the outline of how the murder occurred. But I have no definitive evidence. This music. And there isn't there a piece of evidence that's still unaccounted for? Something that I still can't quite fit into the big picture. The phone? I don't think we've talked about the phone in a very long time. It's Where'd that phone go? It's literally the only thing that is still out of place here. Yeah. It's missing. Take that! For some fucking reason. I don't have any actual evidence. I thought not. But that's because it went missing. And still is. Missing? What do you mean by that? In the complex puzzle that is this case, there was one piece I kept getting stuck on. And that is the victim's cell phone. Francisca! You were waiting at the airport for a phone call from Agent Hicks's cell phone. Or at least that's what you told me. That's right. But Agent Hicks's cell phone could not be found at the crime scene. You mean the killer took the phone with them? Precisely. I suspected that if we were to find that phone, it would lead us to the killer. <laughs> Come on, get serious. Huh? If the victim fell to his death from that from that height, when his phone break as hell? We won't know that until we try a little experiment, will we? Francisco, I'd like to ask you for your assistance. Give me your phone, I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. You know the victim's phone number, do you not? Oh. Of course I do. Uh oh. Classic trick. Here we go. It's ringing. They detect his phone! It's ringing from somewhere, sir! I hear it, detective. Now. Where is it coming from? No, All I right, gotta Scott. fucking look. I can be I your ears. Find it. Oh. Wait. I think does, it's somewhere... does it actually get louder? I think yeah, it is actual audio. I think based. it's somewhere to the left. Hold on, stop talking for a minute. Oh. I don't really think it changes volume. I think it is. We can leave the cargo hold. Is it still ringing? What oh. the fuck? <laughs> How loud? Phone? How loud is this phone? I don't know, man. Some ringtones just are loud. The ring they is coming from somewhere loud. in here, sir. Leave no stone unturned, Detective Gumshoe. We must find it. Is this so awkward this feeling with the no here. music? Yeah. No. Doesn't seem to be over here. Then let's look somewhere else, sir! I'm gonna check the closet. Ringing's coming from in. Oh. The ringtone's is... coming from in here, sir! Nokia ringtones? Oh my god. Uh. What? No! It can't be! She did not put it into Nero's fucking closet. I um, bet she did. This has got to be the victim's cell phone. Just whose luck is this, sir? Tenero's. It's Miss Tenero's. Uh oh. What? That's A bitch. Played it. It asked me. For an airhead, she's pretty Awkward. smart. Damn it. I think the airheadedness is just a. It's an act. It's a hundred percent an act. So, Mr. Edgeworth, how did it go? Look at this cocky bitch. Find the phone. Uh, <laughs> I found it in the flight attendant's room. In Miss Tenero's locker. What? But Rhoda Tenero. I don't know anything about the phone. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Miss Von Karma, is it? I suggest you arrest Rhoda Tenera right away.
Wait, I have a theory. It is related to the incident with a key card. I mean, the key card was stolen. If that's the case. But... When the killer went to steal the key card. What? 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 Huh? They conveniently stashed the cell phone in Miss Tenero's locker at the same time. Objection! As this is related to the key card, alright? It's the same way as that we have zero proof that, that the killer did just that. Uh -huh. The only voice that sings the truth is evidence. That is the one bird we cannot ignore. What should I do? Francisca's right. I can't offer baseless conjectures at this point. Alright then. Why did the copper take the cell from my age ticks? Good question. Yes. Let's oh check God. this on me. But it still works. The screen's all the fuck up though. Holy shit. The LCD is broken. Without a screen, you can't even place a call with this. Hmm. The camera. The camera! Ah, it's a camera lens. Come to think of it. I wonder, who exactly was Agent Hicks planning to preserve the crime scene of a smuggling? Mm. By taking pictures! You know, good thing I examined it, because I would never have thought about that for some reason. Even though every fucking phone has a camera nowadays. Must have something very incriminating on or in it. Hold it! Hold it! What now, Miles Edgeworth? It's not over yet! Yeah. We have yet to figure out why the killer took the phone. Was? Inside this phone lies the final piece of incriminating evidence that will point us to our killer. We need to examine this phone in more detail. I just... Right, prop. But how? Hold on, I know the secret. It's camera lens. I not think of it. I wonder... Exactly, was Agent Hicks planning to preserve the crime scene of smuggling? Ah, no, no, we just had to reaffirm that point. Oh, Francisca, had... I need you to confirm something. This cell phone. Can it take pictures? Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> I can't believe you don't know about this kind of basic stuff, sir! As this looks like a very similar model to my own, and mine can take photos just fine. Do you think Agent Hicks could have taken some pictures with this? In particular, pictures of evidence for his smuggling case? Oh? If so, I'd say there may be some very inconvenient photos in here for a killer smuggler. I would, I would laugh my ass off if the photos showed the person we're trying to prove is innocent. Oh, but man, the I phone's can... all busted up, sir! Even a super prosecutor can repair a broken phone. Just get yeah. the dad off. Find yeah, a way, pull, don't pull you worry the, about that. Just pull, out the, just pull out the SIM card. Yeah. I mean, if it's on the phone though, you can still take it out by, by connecting it to a, to a computer or something. Oh yeah, if it's got a USB. Device. Just someone pulls out, just like, what do we do? And this some like eight, two year old just walks in the scene real quick, pulls out an SD USB cable and be like, you fucking... Unbreak like, phone. <laughs> uh, may I go back to sleep now? Objection! As the LCD screens on the inside and outside are broken, that's for sure. But that's also reason enough to believe that the killer wasn't able to erase the dad. Oh my god. Uh -oh. She's a millennial. What do you mean by that, Francisco? It looks like our killer isn't very familiar with electronics. The phone still rang when I called it, meaning just that only the LCD screens are broken. That is very true. It's possible that uh, that the photos are still here, are still there inside, waiting to be accessed. All we need to do is transfer the data to my phone. Ooh. Uh oh. Francisca, your phone, if you please. Very well. Let me just my grab a link cable. My doubles an SD card. <laughs> it's, it's transferring. All right, displaying it now. It, they probably actually because I know. Oh, look at that. Huh. Hmm. This is... Yeah, the bedsheets are still there. Nice! 
the the boxes are in front of everything else. Agent Hicks was most certainly trying to obtain some evidence for his smuggling case. Hey, but the A lift's nowhere in the red nowhere in the picture, sir. But this has no meaning as a piece of evidence in this murder case, right? Ouch! She's right. There's not much we can find out from this about Agent Hicks's killer, sir. Huh? I like how both of them look very impressed. That's 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 a rarity. The depressing fact. Is this it? Is this the end? Is there really nothing in this photo that we can use? Trenches goes like, "There's other photos, Edgeworth." Something's there that's missing from the crime scene. The what statue. so? Yeah. Oh. Oh. What There's a the lot suitcase? of things that are spot the difference in this. The fact that all of the suitcases are here in this photo is odd. Agent Hicks was still alive at the time. So what exactly is so odd about suitcases that oh, haven't yeah. been used yet being seen? My God, he wasn't dead yes, yet. Yes. Well, I was only pointing out things that are different between now and then. Go off topic ramblings that puts this attendant to sleep yet again, Miles <laughs> Edgeworth. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'll give Slippy here a rude awakening. A deafening objection and a contradiction. Alright, let's find something else. That sheet's weird. Like, the whole thing was. Well. Like, um. Mm. Yeah! 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 Yep. Maybe. Yes. What's all this? Oh god, I forgot he was still here. Hmm? Oh, they're the car of a majority of the side there. So the reason they aren't here now is that they were dropped off in Zengfa. Mr. LeBlanc, can you tell me of the contents of these boxes? Unfortunately, there is no English written on them anywhere. Hmm, what if it's a cluster of boxes written in Borginian? It says... Oh, oh no. God. It is cloth in English. Cloth? Could it be? Is this where the killer... Is this where the killer... He grabbed... They grabbed it from this. Yes. Oh. oh. Hey, wait! I didn't voice the killer this time! Fuck you guys! Ha ha! It was a prank. Got him. What? What for is that skelly face? Miss Meal. <laughs> if Miss Meal wasn't a fucking inner. In my inner beast, it would have been. Yes. It appears that Agent Hicks was no ordinary investigator. Uh -oh. He left us with a piece of evidence after all. A striking piece that will point out who his killer is. Ha! Maybe you shouldn't force your mistaken reading of a simple. Oh, because she can only read Virginia, so she knew it was gone. Yes! Oh. Bitch. Oh my god, what a fucking. I would have. I would never have thought of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that came. Oh my. Your brain you... is massive. <laughs> <laughs> Man, beating that EX really made me feel good today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did, didn't it? The Virginian cargo and this piece of evidence will point us straight to the killer. This. Take that! And what is that supposed to prove? Killer. Use this piece of cloth to wipe up the blood they had spilt. Oh my god, big brain activate, let's go. But, there was one big thing brain. that bothered me this whole time. Where did it come from? Yeah, a nor we didn't know what was in the fucking boxes because we don't read Virginian. Only you do on this flight. You're the only one next to LeBlanc. And now, I have finally found my answer in this very photo. Oh my god, Hicks, you're so fucking lucky. Holy shit. Hicks, your brain is huge. Hicks is so fucking lucky he took that picture. The cargo that was unloaded in Zenfa had cloth written on it. 
in Borginian, that is. Holy shit. And this is where the killer grabbed a piece of cloth from to clean up the blood with. That's right. The killer was someone who could read and understand Borginian. How fucking... <laughs> and the only crew member that fits that description is you, Miss Camille. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Camille pulls out a degree that uh, the other lady also can learn, also knows Borginian. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Huh, that's pretty flimsy. But the killer probably searched through all the boxes looking for something to use. When you're frantic, you don't care if the box is in English or Virginian. Sorry, but I cannot agree with your assessment of the killer's indiscriminate nature. What? There was no need for the killer to tear through boxes at random at all. And if the killer supposedly could not comprehend Virginian, well then... He could use the bed sheets. Logically, the killer would have opened this box First. I can't bed believe sheets. the bed sheets Bed sheets. The bed my sheets favorite like... brand. I just fucking was just making jokes about this fucking I didn't know this was gonna be important. Oh my important. god. It's important. You know, I like to think that uh Edgeworth has a keyboard keyboard artist on standby to play his sick beat so when he's doing this. Hit it, Jimmy, and it pulls out the keyboard. It's gumption with a boombox. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, sky, 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 I, I need you to draw that. Just, just go shoot holding the boombox behind Edgeworth. Precisely. And bedsheets would be perfect for cleaning up blood, wouldn't you say? So what are you trying to say? And if I were the criminal, which I'm not, this box of bedsheets would have been what I would have spotted first. Yeah. However, the killer chose to use some Bordinian cloth. Do you have an explanation for that? The killer didn't want anyone to know that the real scene of the crime was this cargo hold. So they were afraid to leave signs that the box for the sheets had been opened. However, the Borginian cloth, well, that's a horse of a different color. Because the killer knew that it was going to be unloaded in the Republic of Zangfa? That's right. That's why the Virginian cloth was used. Oh, <laughs> clever girl. The only Virginian reader on board who could make such a calculated decision is you, Camille. You and you alone. Oh, is she gonna pop? <laughs> She's, She's hiding Aww. behind the eye. Oh, now I'm sad. No. It would be very easy for us to confirm if any of the boxes were resealed. All we would have to do is contact the Zengfa authorities in time. We may even find other evidence to incriminate our killer with in those boxes. Whoa. Meanwhile, you find out that all those boxes are open and sold now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> what do you say, Miss Meal? Why not confess to your crime here and now? Or would you rather wait and see what we find out from our investigation in Zhang Fa? Game over. Oh, Game I gotta see bomb, this. Bomb, I gotta bomb. See this. Oh my god! She's using bubble beam! On herself! No! Oh the sky wouldn't do it. No, I can't. Please don't do that again. Uh, no, I shall. Too <laughs> bad. He, he was. Interpol. I couldn't stop it. I brought him here. He started taking pictures. I... I couldn't be found out. I was scared. I was in trouble. I... 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 Yo! Yo! I know the echo was well, really hello. strong. Oh! Well, that's it. We finished making all the arrangements to take the suspect in, sir. Very good, detective. What about the smuggling route? Did you say anything about that? We're taking it down to the precinct now. Hopefully, we can get more out of it there. 
Whenever we approached the topic, she just started foaming at the mouth. Oh my god. Oh. With bubbles. It was scary, sir. You probably wasn't prepared to commit a murder all of a sudden. One thing for sure is for sure, the ring behind this whole mess means serious business. It looks like there's a lot more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Edgeworth. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate everything you did. Thank you very much. It was nothing. In fact, I should be the one thanking you for your cooperation. But truly, if it wasn't for you, I... I might not be here right now. Instead, I can continue to serve our passengers as a flight attendant. Um, I hope that... Well... Oh, no... Uh, honey... You need if to stop. That's... That, that's... I see. You don't have to take it if you don't want it. No, I, I mean, I would never turn down a lady's generous offer. By the way, I'm my sure it will be serve you well. And remember, we here at iFly Airlines are always ready to serve, Mr. Edgeworth. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Now I must bid you farewell. May all your skies be blue, no matter where you go. Oh, that's beautiful. Also, your madness needs to stop me now. Don't quit your day job. Oh, I can't believe we wound up investigating the whole day, sir. <laughs> But boy, was it fun! Speak for yourself. My day was filled with earthquakes, elevators, and false charges. <laughs> By the way, where is Francisca? Oh, uh, she's filling out some customs paperwork for her departure. Departure? Probably going to Zhang Fa. Yeah, Miss Von Kama's is always really busy, sir. She's been flying from country to country to chase down some leads regarding her case. Can you cancel the car I had you reserve earlier? Don't got it, sure. I I'm sure I can get a refund from DoorDash or Uber. <laughs> no, no, you you don't get you don't get refunds. Oh, Francisca. I thought I told you when you first landed. I have no time for idle chatter. I have no intention of wasting your time. However, it has been a while since we last met. I also have no time for such familiar reminiscences. Just who do you think I am? You are Francisca von Karma, a very proud prosecutor deserving of much respect. Oh my god, <laughs> laying it thick, huh? Huh, <laughs> until only a little while ago, I was but a wretched mutt who was always losing to you. A dancing pro lived... How do you pronounce that clown's name, pro? I think... I think that is correct, actually. <laughs> Living her life on the name and fame her invincible father bit. True, your father, Manfred von Karma, didn't lose a single case for 40 years as a, as a prosecutor. However, I wouldn't say he was invincible. What are you talking about? The group I'm on the trial of is a little more troublesome than most. Oh, on, I'm on the trail of is a little more troublesome than most. The smuggling route we found this time is only one sliver of the big picture. Sounds like a dangerous assignment. You really don't have to worry. I can take care of myself. Yes, I suppose you can. Plus, there's another agent on this case with me. Oh, another agent? Let's hope he don't die. He's a star among the Interpol agents and has his highest successful arrest rate. Who knows, you may even run into him one day. Hopefully alive. Hmm. I was simply caught up in this one case. I hardly see why we would cross paths. I suppose. But I doubt he would say it's the same. I'm not following you. You'll understand soon enough. The fight has only just begun, Miles Edgeworth. I'll be back in this country soon enough. And when I am, you can be sure I'll pay you back. In full. I'll feed us in. The 40 lashes. Bitch. And just like that, she's gone, huh, sir? Thank goodness! <laughs> I can finally rest easy knowing I won't have to watch out for a whip! Gumshoe, I want to thank you for all your help and cooperation. 
Oh, it was nothing, sir. I was just happy to be able to work with you again. <laughs> I think I'm going to celebrate by adding a little extra salt to my instant noodles tonight. Airing today, are we? Uh, just how much did you cut his salary by, Francisca? I thought I was bad. Jesus. Detective, I was wondering if you might give me a ride down to the prosecutor's office. Two things, sir. I'll even fly down the road in the patrol car if you want. Don't make me remind you, detective. Safety first. Well, I've so, never been in a car crib. Instead, well, uh, there was instead, one. Uh, instead of having a car, he has one of those like uh, what are they the, those kids bikes things, a big a big wheel. <laughs> no, that's it's not. Nice. Like a, it's not like an Ford, sir. No, that's no, it's Phoenix. a Fisher car. It's a Fisher press car. <laughs> No, no, it's the car that you have to for the kids in BJ's. Yeah, the Fisher Price car. Oh, I guess the same as, huh? Thus, I solved the first case upon my arrival home. Francisca von Karma. The smuggling route she was after. The leaders of that ring had already put their trump card into play. And the players on the other side of this war. They would begin to make themselves known in the next incident. Hmm? Edgeworth speaking. Don't know who this is. I don't know. Ah, oh, finally, I called. He knows how many times they were, but I couldn't get through. And you are. Uh, have you forgotten my voice, Miles? My Miles, my boy. Huh? Huh? Who's this? Mr. Amano. Oh. Mr. Amano, oh, correct? Okay. Who? Who? Hold on. I'm looking this guy up. Let's no, no, no. You haven't met him yet. Trust me. Yeah, oh, okay, 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 okay. So you do remember me? I oh, know it's rather sudden, but I can't ask this of anyone else. There's been a uh, incident, Miles. My son, he's been kidnapped. Oh, just a... Oh. Next time. <laughs> My boy just Next can't time. catch a break. <laughs> Phoenix doesn't get any jobs, but this bitch gets every fucking job. And this case takes place right after is. the last one. Literally, right after it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, oh, it, wait, is that the case? Yes. Is it? Oh, God. Yeah, it, it takes place literally right after the flight one. So like he the... goes, he does this on his way home. Yep. Jesus Christ, Christ, this man get no rest. No rest for the wicked. But that's next time. Oh, you want to do a preview? Yeah. Okay. You know she's going to do the preview. That's her jam. Old day March 13th, 10, 11 a.m. Who the fuck knows where? It's time. Don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll be dope. Good to hear. Now make sure you don't lose sight of me. I'm counting on you for backup. You can count on me, sir! I have to go. The kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon. Who would have thought that upon my return, I'd be thrust into a kidnapping case? And that I would be the one who would have to make the ransom drop off. What the fuck? Fuck! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, he actually oh has a suitcase! Oh my god, it's in the suitcase, too. Oh my let's, god! Let's see, I checked that the money is all there, safe inside this suitcase. Oh my god. Now all I have to do is wait for further instructions from the kidnapper. Which I'm expecting to be transferred to my cell phone. Hmm. I wonder who else is around. This is the meeting place, after all. Oh my god, he's partying! Just carrying it around! Oh no... Welcome uh, to Game Water... No, you can do this, fan. Welcome to the Game Water Land! Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Hmm? Oh, thank you. You're a big old I'm a pretty badger! Nice to meet you. Oh my god. L listen to the theme! Listen to the theme! Listen to the theme! A picture of you? 
sorry, but I'm not interested. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I get that. Hello? Who are you? You're not Ernest, you're not Ernest Amarno. It sounds like the kidnapper is using some sort of voice alteration device. I'm his representative, Miles Itchworth. Are you a cop? No, I'm... A prosecutor. If I, had if I knew there was gonna be a voice changer, I would have I would have set up my robot voice. I know what you're wondering, and yes, I have brought the ransom money with me. I see. In that case, bring the money with you to the stadium. So this person intends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, Detective Gumshu. I really need you to come through for me this one time. Rolling it around. Look, look, what's that symbol? <laughs> it's worth speaking. Enough come to the haunted house. And just how long do you intend to have me wander around for? That's for me to decide, and you don't have much of a choice here, my friend. I suppose not. It's the Gaviners! It's the Gaviners. No, oh I said God. it right. Gaviners. Gaviners. I've arrived. Go inside. Ooh. This is stupid. Uh... Hmm. What a dismal place. That's it. Go through those doors. Uh, am I being watched from somewhere? Yeah, right? Leave the money and go now. <gasps> uh. I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. Hmm. I could catch even a glimpse of the kidnapper. Perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house until police backup arrives. Look at the thing in the background! Is that, the, is that a blue badger? That's yeah, the oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I don't like shit. that. Oh, it's no, a horror no, game now. No, okay, no, okay. No, I don't oh, like, like that. this. <laughs> it's a horror game. Oh, that's not like. It was a trap. Didn't like that at all. Just add yeah. like a foxy jump scare right at that point. Nope, we're done was... here. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, just uh, leave it at there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Perfect. Oh, my God. What a nightmare. non I think we're playing horror game. games now, Sky. Damn. I did though either. That was scary. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Was that. Some, that was some spooky That's shit. That's the way to end on, huh? Was, That's some spooky shit. I was, I, I was like, that looks like the blue badger that it just faded into another. I was like, nope, nope, nope. The blackest eyes one could no, see. No, if you want more, we're going to do it uh, hopefully this Saturday. We'll see how it goes. So. Yep. Thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate it, everyone. And I will see everybody either tomorrow or uh, Saturday for more of this, if you're interested. So, good luck sleeping tonight. I will <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll do my best. I won't have. Hopefully. Oh, I don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll probably have a uh, wonderful um, pork fried rice donation incentive soon. Oh, yeah! I can't believe all that happened. Uh, don't yeah. don't forget, uh, Aura was raiding with you as a fisher. It was great. I t 
fucking. She has to stop and think. Pork fried rice. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go. I'll see everybody tomorrow. <laughs> we're gonna do some reclears and uh maybe something fun, after and fun stuff. Yeah, and then uh Thursday I'll think of something. But until then, take care everybody. I'll see everybody tomorrow or Saturday for more of this. So love you guys. See you Bye. later. Good night. Bye.